Richard, you're live, man. What? What's up, everybody? It's Richard and uh, the crew from uh, Gas Monkey Garage. And as you can tell, this is the day we've all been waiting on. Uh, we uh, have had our cars up for seven days on Bring a Trailer, and uh, they're now live and they're ending. We are going with the first car is the King T. Uh, this is literally new for me doing this live thing and uh, trying to move in and out of uh, keeping up with all of the uh, questions and comments that are coming in. I've got Big Chris in the other room making sure he's answering everything as fast as he can. I've got my team of millennials here that have set up this awesome display of uh, righteous uh, technology that is gonna help me uh, talk everybody through the cars. We're gonna try to take questions. We're gonna try to uh, you know, show you guys a little bit more about these cars and why I have them and uh, what they're all about. But most importantly, we're gonna sit back, uh, have some pizza, have a couple of cold beers, and sell some cars. Uh, I wanna thank Bring a Trailer, and I wanna thank all the Bring a Trailer members out there. You guys have been collectively awesome to work with, good questions, you know, just everything about it uh, is the reason that I went with Bring a Trailer. I'm really, really fired up with the way that it's worked so far. Um, you know, Bring a Trailer's uh, stayed on top of it. Uh, my team here at the Millennials and Big Chris and myself, answering the questions, getting you extra photos. Uh, we're gonna try to do that as these roll and uh, see uh, what goes on um, for this sale. Uh, there might be some pauses in between because uh, I might have to run to the boys' room to get rid of some of this beer. Uh, I'll have to cram a pizza down my throat. Uh, you guys, uh, millennial teams, are gonna be chunking me some questions and uh, I'm gonna be telling you what's up. So we're moving into the two minute mark on the King T. And I saw one of the comments here that said, uh, that was bought at Barrett Jackson for 40 and no sold at Riyadh in 2019. Uh, and uh, that's true. Uh, I, I'm gonna make no, no uh, bones about it. Uh, I sold this car, or I bought this car, uh, Barrett Jackson in Las Vegas. It belonged to a very prestigious collection. It was being sold uh, and I lucked out. I got this car for what I believed was literally 25% uh, of what it's worth. This car should be way higher, uh, built by Don and Gene Winfield, Don Tegnotti and Gene Winfield, uh, it won the America's Most Beautiful Roadster Award. It has been a model, it has been a kit, it has been a matchbox, a Hot Wheels. Uh, it's an amazing car. Uh, the technology on it for at the time, 1964, it drives well. Uh, Mr. Winfield himself came here in, uh, I don't know, about four years ago, five years ago. I think he was 92 or 93, because he knew I had the car and took me for a ride in it. So that was a real treat. Uh, this car is uh, very, very cool and very special. Uh, it belongs in a cool collection and uh, you know, we're moving right along. So one minute left to go and somebody's gonna get a good deal on this one. This is one that uh, I kind of considered not selling, but uh, you know, the guys here can attest, we've driven it and this thing drives good at freeway speeds. Now remember, you got the straight down. Um, Here's where it should start. You got the straight down uh, steering column. So it's a little wicky to get used to, but uh, once you do, it, it jams pretty well. Uh, up next is gonna be our uh, 67 Mustang, actually no, the 65 Mustang, we got a 68 later. Um, golly, these are, there we go. Somebody needs to be hitting this, but uh, this is one thing that comes out when you do buy a car at an auction. Uh, even though it's a great, great deal right now, somebody's probably going, well, he got it so cheap, so I don't really want to pay this much for it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, again, you know, the car's killer. Hey, my wife just came in. What's up, wifey? Got Rick Fairless here from Stroger's. Somebody's fixing to get a deal. Oh my God, they're stealing right there. Boom. Going, going. All right. Oh. I'm, I'm here with your wife. All right, man. Come to say what's, up, what's up, what's up, man? Yeah. All right, so first car down the chute. Uh, wow. 75.5. 75.5. Now, as you can tell there, uh, Peach Pink Bomb, killer name, by the way. Uh, so put a check mark on the King T over here at uh, 75.5. Uh, Peach Pink Bomb, you got a hell of a deal because uh, car really is sexy, it's cool, and uh, what have you. Now, um, let's talk about the Mustang. Uh, we got a lot of questions about the Mustang. Why didn't you build it, et cetera, and so forth. You know, well, number one, I bought the car off the back of a trailer uh, as a real K code, non numbers matching, uh, but a nice car, rust free. It was a good car. And uh, I sent it to Thoroughbred up in Oklahoma because he's a friend of the shop. And on top of that, they're the best. I mean, they've restored the best Mustangs in the world. And we were busy here, me and the guys, building uh, show cars for Fast and Loud. 
uh, one right after another. And at the time, if I remember right, we had three or so different shows going at the same time. Garage Rehab, Misfit Garage, plus Fast and Loud. So it was a lot to try to put up with. I mean, it really was. And we just didn't have time. And Don said he'd take care of it and do me a, a solid. And uh, so this car is a beautiful car in and out, ride tech suspension. Uh, it's got a hidden little uh, five speed under there with a built up uh, Ford performance motor and uh, fuel injection. It's just a hoot to drive. Uh, I gotta be honest, I bet I haven't put 150 miles on it since it uh, came out. Go up a little bit on this screen so I can always see what the comment is if something comes up. Whew. So there we go. We're one and a half cars in and I'm out of breath already. Uh, someone needs to pony up, he says. Uh, but uh, anyways, um, I can't say enough good things about the car. It's just really tastefully done. It would be considered a resto mod, which I know to some Mustang guys would be possibly sacrilege, you know, to do that to a K code. But to me, I think it's done in a proper manner that shows well. And uh, it's a great car, uh, super straight, super clean. Um, I don't really have uh, anything bad to say about it. I don't know how to make this last 10 minutes in between each cell, guys. I'll talk about it. Well, RB Holy Jazz cow. wants to know why you didn't paint it green. Hey. Yeah, this guy why to go snow. black? Oh, that was yeah. a black. Because right right people don't really realize that everything you drive is black. Yeah, Richard has two favorite colors, black and green, because I like to be in the black, and I like the green. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas McCann will tell you that. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lena from Strokers is here. What are all these beeping, man? We want the beeps. So we're talking about the Mustang right now. And uh, if you guys got any questions, hit us on the social media, hit us on the, uh, on the actual screen. I'm watching both. Uh, and uh, I've got a whole team here that's watching both. Uh, Lena from Strokers is here, or Boogan, as she's known. Uh, Rick's here. Oh, uh, are you talking to Rick? Oh. oh, yeah, and Phipps is here. So, uh, I gotta tell you guys, um, this is the first time bringing trailers done something like this, uh, and for them to do it with me was very, very special, but this was a massive undertaking. I mean, 28 vehicles in one auction, have them all ready at the same time for pictures and videos and everything else, and then keep up with all the comments and questions and what have you. It was pretty hair-raising, and, uh, you know, I gotta hats off to my team and to Big Chris. Uh, hopefully you guys have thought we've done a good job of keeping up with uh, all of you bats out there. I don't know what they have. A, huh? Your beautiful wife is here. I know my beautiful wife's here. But you're late to the party. You're late to the party. Guys, y'all got to figure out how to help me fill this in and make you know, more fun. It's a live stream, so it's just drink beer, talking to the people. Well, I can't drink beer through 28 vehicles. I'll be on the floor. Hey, both of us can come up to each other. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? That's my type of party. Oh. We got any questions coming in? Oh, Dennis Cornley's here. Okay. He's been here too. You're late to the party now. Heck, if I know. Is there anything coming in on social feeds? So on, uh, anything like I hate Richard, you know, anything? Richard, so a bunch of people are just getting hay from Puerto Rico or Mexico or everywhere. So just oh, out. yeah. Puerto Rico, Mexico, Brazil. Yes, very excellent. Very excellent. We've got a lot of fans down in South America, and I, I love it. I need to go down there and do a tour and come hey, through Texas and have fun. Texas Bush wants to talk about uh, how he pranked you in San Antonio. Who pranked me? Texas Bushman. Texas Bushman did prank me in San Antonio. But, uh, you know, hey, beautiful wife. He did. <laughs> Wish me luck, dear. I've got to keep you in the style of which you are accustomed to. Oh, and then there's Lena from Strokers. Get you some. There you go. There's probably like six people watching. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the status? We are at a thousand for a thousand live viewers currently, and we've had 25, uh, 500 people turn in. All right. Well, you know, if we're at a thousand live viewers right now, and we've had as many as 2,500 in the last 10 minutes, we're doing better than disco, and that means discovery. Hey, someone says 15k on the shop truck project. What do you think Maybe about that? The, the shop. Hey, the shop truck project needs to sell somewhere so that y'all can actually make some money. You guys dropped the bucket. I had to have my team finish it. That you said if we make profit, we get paid. Oh, not, not, you did not make a profit because you got storage fees. Bill for, <laughs> storage my, fees. Bill for my team Are finishing it. There's the electric bill. There's yeah, the there's bill. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Come on. But, uh, you know, somebody's going to get a killer deal here if this car doesn't move. I will promise you that if you came to my shop or Thoroughbred and you wanted that car built, today's money, you would be approaching 200 grand plus the car to get started with. 
Uh, it's that nice. Every nut, every bolt. Uh, it, it's a no holds barred expense right there. That's killer myself. Let's see what we're doing. We're getting tons of emails. Get a lot, a lot of dingers. Richard, people are saying your Corvette um, chassis is taking off. Yeah, the Corvette chassis is going to be coming up in a little bit. It's really cool. This crowd needs some energy drink. Unfortunately, we shut that down a little bit. What are you doing? Don't go to the chassis. I got to watch this. I can't keep up with all this. I'm old. <laughs> you got three minutes till the K code ends. Three minutes till the K code ends. Thanks for the commentary. So, uh, as we go, hopefully more uh, people start showing up. I was really surprised that uh, I didn't have as many people come tour the vehicles or ask to come see them. We had probably 10 or 20 come through. And uh, if they were a qualified bidder and wanted to be here at, the, uh, at this time, bidding on the auction, they were more than welcome to be here. Uh, as everybody is, you can stop by Gas Monkey anytime. Uh, pretty much uh, Monday through Sunday, we're open and uh, we're always having a good time doing something. Hey Richard, say hi to Frederick from Paris, France. Hello, Frederick from Paris, France. This guy is blowing up our chat. Excellent. What, what do I charge you, for? What car are you the most sad to see go? Well, you know what? For the price that it just went for, I'm pretty sad to see the King T leave. I really expected that car to do about 140-ish like it did when the lady that uh, I bought it from. So, you know. Sovereign News asked you if you would ever attempt another F40 project. You know, uh, I would not attempt another F40 project. I think we did really well and proved our point that we could make a car that was worthy of, you know, being back on the road as a real Ferrari. Even Ferrari finally fessed up and said that uh, it's a damn good Ferrari. So uh, maybe we'll do it with something else. If you got a crash Ferrari out there, give me a holler. You know, maybe we'll have some fun. All right. You guys look so excited. Um, I'm reading your comments. How, how are you doing? All right, good. So we're down to a minute and 40 seconds on the 65 Mustang K-Code Fastback. Guys, you are, That's a steal. Uh, I mean, I hate to sound like an auctioneer, but you should have your hand on the button right now, because uh, this is a, it's a pretty good car. It's a pretty damn good deal and uh, what have you. But uh, maybe somebody will try to slide in there. Hey, Michael asked you, what cars do you want for your new collection? Well, you know, uh, we're looking at uh, some some 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, show car, trick car type stuff. I really want to get into the 80s and 90s uh, American muscle stuff. And I know what you're going to say, there is no American muscle in those years, but there's a few things out there. And uh, then, uh, you know, like I quoted, huh? some, oh, we're down to a minute. Uh, some of the... Uh, the German and, and Italian cars, but you know, vintage ones, 60s and 70s on those also. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Somebody said build what a is super. the best classic car to buy under 25K? The best classic car to buy under 25K? If you ask me, I'm gonna say the one you can make the most money on. But, uh, you know, give me a thought on that. Let me think about that. That was the last question. I might, I might say, uh, if you're my age, maybe like an IROC C with the, with the actual 350 high output in the, uh, and the five speed, you can slide into one of those. Huh? 20 seconds. Somebody slide. Well, we're starting off the auction with uh, with uh, strong bids. And uh, here we go. Eight seconds. 75. Wow. Who is this? Esteban Fris. Seal? Wow. You just got you just a hell of a deal, on. sir. I mean, that, that one hurt. That one hurt. Uh, uh, you know, guys, uh, we're going to be writing all this down, and I'm going to actually give you the recap. I'm going to tell you where we're at because in the car business, we call this averaging out. Um, you know, some you're going to win on, some you're going to lose on. Uh, the first time I lost on a car on the Fast and Loud show, we, we built a car. We took it to the auction, and it didn't bring profit. And you would have thought those little production assistants and the directors and the people at the, at the table at Discovery, they were freaking out, going crazy. Uh, Cause they didn't know what to do. And I was like, you can't win every time. I mean, you just can't. That's not how business works. I don't care what business you're in. Sometimes you do great. Sometimes you do well. Sometimes you lose a little or a lot, you know? So we're going to see what happens here. Now this truck, um, I bought this truck about three years ago, maybe three and a half. We put some interior in it uh, and kind of spruced it up a little bit, but it's largely exactly uh, like I bought it, except for uh, 
brakes, wheels and tires, and just gave it a better look. This truck's super nice. Uh, it uh, runs and drives great. I actually drive it home sometimes and embarrass my wife by parking in front of the house because, you know, uh, she thinks it's just a big old green truck. I think it's freaking rad. Wait a minute, that embarrasses your wife? Huh. Yeah, being married to me too. Uh, <laughs> hey, but, uh, Chase, you know. yeah, that, that one really embarrasses you. Being if married you could own any car from the sale today, <laughs> what would it be? That's a tough one. That is the tough one. So we're moving on the uh, hey, F-250. This is truly a drive-in uh, or fly-in and drive-home truck. You're gonna have some heavy gas bills, but uh, other than that, stock. Uh, did we go through the AC on this? We didn't get to that. I don't think we ever got the- Yeah, it's all complete and turns on, but it, it doesn't blow cold right now. Um, so, you know, we wanna be honest with everything we got out there. It Gasoline party has got three minutes before he's driving with El Wapo, as I affectionately named this truck. It does have rear shocks on it now. It does have the rear shocks on it. Um, you know, we were trying to get these cars ready and photograph them and what have you. So it was it was a process. But uh, yes, Gordon Little, he tipped us, and he also asked, "Would you ever attempt an EV conversion of a muscle car?" What does tip mean? He tipped you on YouTube. What, how much did I get? Four. $4.49. Whoa! Yellow. Well, Gordon Little, thanks for the jack. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would like to do an EV car one day when the hype moves away from it and we can do something fun. Right now, everybody's trying to jump on that bandwagon and I'm waiting for the dust to settle a little bit, but I've got a few ideas in my head that might be kind of fun. I didn't know you could tip. What am I, on OnlyFans? Yeah. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that. Huh? Show your feet. Yeah, show my feet. Richard, will you ever... Will you fart in a beer can for me? No. <laughs> will, you, will you ever buy or build a 21 or 23 window Volkswagen bus? How many I would love to build a Volkswagen bus. As a matter of fact, that goes back to the, the thing you're talking about. I think they're a great platform for an electric vehicle. And uh, do the 21 or 23 window, all electric, slam down the ground. I think it'd be pretty cool. So uh, Gasoline Party here has got a minute and a half before he's going with El Wapo at a very fair price considering how much I've seen some of these trucks sell for. Um, it's really pretty crazy. Um, the, the 78 and 79 Fords are really jamming. And next we've got the Roadster Shop chassis. Uh, and uh, this one, I think we had somebody ask earlier if I would be willing to put it on his car. Uh, somebody said they were bidding on it. And uh, uh oh, the gasoline away. party's out. See why it just stepped in the game. So uh, don't lose it. Got two more minutes though. But uh, whoever asked me the question about uh, if we would be willing to put your car on the chassis, uh, we definitely would. Uh, I'd have to see some pretty good pictures of your car uh, to determine its condition and ability to just be set on there. Um, I will tell you that both the Corvettes that I have here, the 62 and the 59, fit this frame perfectly and they're in top condition to just literally bolt on. So, uh, we'd be, whoa! J Wolf Gang K! Look at him go. Caleb Kettle, man. Thanks a lot. Quit tipping guys like me. Uh, get out there. You know, this is one of the coolest things that I've gotten to enjoy doing this for 20 years is I do get guys and gals that come up to me and like, man, you gave me the, the idea or the courage or the, the, or the, the drive to want to go do it for myself. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's very cool to be a part of that. And, uh, you know, now I'm starting to feel a little old because I got guys that come up to me that are grown men with mustaches and stuff. And they're like, oh, I've been watching you my whole life. And I'm like, dude, I'm only 53. Come on. You know, but it is cool. The uh, family aspect of uh, Gas Monkey and what we stand for and our values. And, uh, you know, we can still have fun, have tattoos and, you know, uh, drink some beer. We just don't kick boxes and cuss at each other and what have you. That's all just BS. Hey, Richard, she reads it for $4.99 and said, can I have your bath water? No, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Is it four hundred ninety nine dollars? No. no. <laughs> so, uh, what happened to gasoline party? What happened, to everybody? Hey, someone, there, someone tipped you ten dollars and said thank you so much for helping. I already did. We already went over that. We already did that. All right, well, I'm behind. Get with the program. We're down to thirty seconds. Uh, I still think the truck uh, has a little bit more uh, value in it, but you're getting a good deal, and. Uh, you know, so I've seen some of these trucks sell up around 50 grand. So this one's going to carry through. And uh, 
We're looking at 20 seconds left. We got three minutes left on the chassis coming up. This is starting to move a little faster now. It's not as bad. What do you think about it over there, producer dude? It's producer dude. It's good stuff. <laughs> Keep going. This guy promises me. Oh, 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 gasoline party. Boom. Two minutes. Two Get minutes. Get it in there. 250. Two minutes. I love yeah. it. He had to ask his wife. <laughs> well, keep asking. Uh, <laughs> hey, Richard, uh, Jeff, DD, tipped us and said, love your YouTube channel, keep the cool builds coming. All right, man, I appreciate it, Jeff Beatty. And uh, just so everyone knows, uh, I, I didn't even know this tipping thing was a thing. So 100% of that's gonna go to Gas Monkey Foundation. Uh, we'll put all that in there. And Alzheimer's, uh, everybody knows the story of my dad and he's in pretty rough shape, uh, but uh, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, I'm able to, to take care of him and make sure he's in the right place and, and get taken care of. It's a shitty disease and hopefully one day we'll find a, a cure for it. Gasoline party's in there. Oh, I love this one. I'm surprised Richard has not got drunk and tried to bid on his own auction. Well, Simon, it's only the third car. Yeah, it's Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Who, who oh, that's a new one. Yep, new one. Uh, Dipsy 529. Uh, we're approaching two minutes on the chassis. No, yeah. No so uh, we got a little back and forth now, guys. So uh, I've got a separate screen here that's showing uh, 31 250. If you're watching that camera, I think you can see both on the chassis. Everybody knows what I paid for it. It's in there. Uh, the receipts for it, everything else, it's all crated up. Everything that comes with it is with it. It's never even been unboxed. So super easy to crate. You can have that thrown on a, a regular transit truck and shipped anywhere in the United States. 31.5 on the truck. And uh, we're at 31.5 on the truck. Now the benefit to the chassis, you might be thinking, the, uh, the benefit of the, uh, of the uh, 31.5 on the chassis is that you're not gonna wait uh, six or eight months. Roadster shop guys, they are the freaking best at what they do, so they are busy. And uh, it's pretty, it's a little bit of wait time and a little bit of planning to get a, a chassis from them, but I promise you it is absolutely worthless. <laughs> it is absolutely worth it. Sorry, Roadster shop. You, they are, they, I couldn't tell you better about their, their customer service, the way they do everything. Uh, Roadster shop is absolutely super kick ass. Uh, I bought this chassis to go with the 59 vet that we're also selling for a customer that was taking it over to Mallorca, Spain. And then COVID hit. And uh, so he, you know, like everybody else, business changed and he had to wait a little bit. We got 40 seconds left to go on the 30, on the 78 F Ford 250. Golly. I haven't talked, I, I don't know how the auctioneers do it. This is for your app. AWD Corrado. Oh, again. There's Dempsey going in. Oh, Dempsey's back in. He said, build that Supra. Are we going to see more 80s and 90s tuner cars that are up and coming? In now, are we talking about the Supra that's in the sale, or are we talking about the, the one, one we haven't told them about? The one you bought. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little right-hand drive export one. We're thinking about it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Send in your wish list of what you'd like to see us do to that one, and uh, we'll, we'll take it into consideration. Uh, we've got about a minute. And, how are we doing on the other auctions? Anything else sneaking up on us? I don't even know. Wow. Uh, um, we've got five minutes left on the 928. That's the oh, yeah. Guys, y'all got to be paying to this 928. I am in that car for double where it's at. I promise you, I'll show you the receipts. I paid up out the nose for that car because it's just too cool. It's an early car. Uh, let's see. We got to let's go back to the chassis. We got a minute. Right now on the Ford F-250 XLT. And, uh, and we're down to 40 seconds on the chassis, 32 to 50. That car, that's, that's a good deal there because you're not waiting six or eight months. And uh, you know, Roadster Shop knows their stuff. You don't pay a rush charge. They, people get in line, they wait. Like, it's like at a good barbecue place. You gotta wait in line all morning. All right, so we're 20 and 20, 31.750 on El Wapo. My green El Wapo is going to a new home. Okay. Uh, it would be hard to manage 29 dollars at one time, Richard, isn't it? Chassis yeah. Chassis gone. All right, so the chassis looks like it went for 32250 Which is pretty good, I think. Chassis went for 32250 All right, good deal. Uh, get me the Porsche up over here, and let's look at the, uh, the Ranger, 31750. Five seconds to go. Who's getting on it? I don't know. It's going to Dempsey 529. Last second bids. Boom. 
I believe it sold there, right? Yeah, it did. Sold. Dempsey 529, thank you very much. Throw this portion in the center. I'm starting to get the hang of this. I feel like, uh, who's that dude that does Wheel of Fortune? Pat Tejas. Okay, guys, I'm not kidding here. This is a steal on the uh, on the Porsche. Um, Original. Like I said, we're going to recap all this, but we're losing here. Pretty good, pretty good chunk of money. This is a neat car. Uh, the only thing that hurts is there's two little dings in the uh, in the front fenders where the garage door fell on it. We thought about fixing it, but it's it's all original paint as far as we can tell. So I said, just leave it. You know, maybe, maybe somebody. Sure zinc planing on all the hose clamps and stuff underneath the hood. Yeah, all the zinc planing, all the everything. Everything's got the original toolkits, tool spare tire, spares. Tire. You know, that's a cool car. I wouldn't be surprised that car ends up going overseas. Uh, next up is the 62 Corvette, which uh, I got to tell you is a neat car. Um, you know, it's a it's a good driver quality car. You can have some fun with it. Make sure you pay attention to the pictures. It's got uh, some paint flaking on the hard top, but it does still have also the soft top. Uh, nice car. Uh, just runs and drives, does everything it's supposed to do. Where are we at? Man, I'm running out of breath. I got water, boo. Do I need a drink? Beer assistant. The 60 Corvette and 59, yeah, yeah, they'll both fit right on that chassis. Make Richard, sure it someone's going to ask, why well, you didn't use the Porsche? Look you at this guy. Even he says anything after uh, anything under 45 for this Porsche is an absolute steal. I love it. I mean, somebody's fixing to get a really good deal there. What did you say? I was, someone had a question um, about the dent repair on the, on the hood. I mean, you just kind of left like hot for the, for the Porsche. If I repaired it, I would have to paint it. And, yeah, they're aluminum fenders. So and it's yeah, aluminum. It's so, cracked and so to yeah. do it right, fender off, everything off. You, you mess up the lineup on the paint and the fenders and everything. Sure, you can get them all right. But we decided, why well, try to hide a problem? I'd rather just tell the story about the car the way it is and uh, what have you. So there you go. Andrew Bright asked if you were his dad. Well, <laughs> I don't know. It depends on who your mom is. Do <laughs> uh, you remember all of them? No. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Mullen tipped us. Thank you. Jeremy Mullen, thank you very much. That's going straight to Gas Monkey Foundation. How are we doing on viewers? Like 20 million by right? 2.4K, 2400 right now. Kick ass, man. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's a little weird, but you know, it's pretty much like a regular auction that you, you see on uh, TV channels. You know, cars are coming up. We're talking about what's coming. We're talking about what's selling. And uh, we're down in the final minute now on the uh, 79 928 five speed boy i tell you with the posh interior i mean whoo i gotta tell you i uh oh, oh there it is there, there we go 250 what's the phone of the minivan not a fan of the minivan <laughs> there's a the 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 camera there too oh <laughs> <laughs> money mike money mike wants a shout out to the airman at tinker the beer, air force though. base in tinker oklahoma. tinker air force base in oklahoma money mike yeah all right money mike you got a shout out to the to the guys and gals out there at tinker air Base in uh oklahoma i gotta tell you uh, i can't say enough good things about our troops and our men and women and uh uh first responders uh you guys you're keeping us safe look at the hell that's going on in the other parts of the world uh keep fighting keep being safe out there and uh come by here anytime i always got a cold beer for somebody in the force okay now we're talking okay we're on piece that design who does the who does six six, six that yeah there's i'm not a big fan of that does on it. six, 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 six. weird he ain't scared four minutes under five <laughs> Woo. under five minutes Fix to have somebody else take over while I go pee. But uh, let's see. So Porsche is still a good deal. It's got about a minute and a half to go. Next up is the 62 Corvette. Super nice car. Um, now, again, these, these cars are all show, these cars are not show qualities. There's a couple, and I'll tell you which ones they are. You know, the King T, the Black Mustang. The rest of them are super nice, what I'd call, you know, good runner drivers. Uh, that you can take to the shows. You don't have to worry about it. Most of them, I'll go out and jump curbs and what have you. Um, you know, so when we recap all this, I'll tell you what I'm keeping, and there's not much. You know, there's just a few things. Uh, the Easy Riders motorcycle, it comes on later on. Somebody needs to get on that, because uh, uh, that's a hell of a piece of uh, history. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit low in the price range right now, too. 
I think this is a new way to auction. They, uh, I don't know if you called it out, but the Porsches went up. Porsche just went to 33,000. And uh, I still think it's way undervalued, guys. Um, I've got more money than that. I promise you, uh, I will tell you that I've got way more money in that car because I bought it because of how cool it is. Uh, we got about three minutes left on uh, the 62 Corvette. Wow. Someone, uh, someone said cheers huh? to the beer fairy, AKA Vips. Oh, I'm all right right now. I'm all right right now. Hey, Richard. Yo. Someone said cheers to the beer fairy, AKA Vips. <laughs> yeah. Beer fairy. Yeah. Fips just got renamed the beer fairy, not the beer oh, assistant. Fips. Fips, the beer fairy. Oh, bumped up again. Here we go. Oh, right on. Piece to design. He knows what he's talking about. I'm telling you guys, anything under 50 for this Porsche is absolute steal. Uh, hey, what happened over here? I can't see my Corvette. All right. So we got two and a half minutes there. there. 35 grand. We're moving. That's the way to do it. This is awesome. How's it doing online? How's it looking? How's it hearing? Can you hear it? <laughs> Got a couple thousand people watching, which again is more than cable. Someone, someone, 10, 10 bucks. Let us build this Supra. The <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should crowd, crowdsource building the Supra. No, he's saying the millennials. He's saying the millennials. Oh, yeah, y'all aren't touching my yeah, suit. Yeah, that worked out last yeah, time. Yeah, it didn't work out very good last time. Get him to say yes to it first and then get him all by the deep. All right. There's there's piece of design's back up. We got uh, two piece minutes left on the Corvette. Um, you know, the Corvette's, um, it got up there real fast. And uh, if I don't miss my history lesson when I was researching it, it might actually be staying here in Texas if it sells for that. Um, the gentleman's pretty active on bat. So I got to tell you, this is was terrifying to me at first uh, doing this, but now I'm starting to have a little fun. I'm loosening up a bit. Uh, one minute and a half. Man, these are going to end at the same time. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. They're like 10 seconds apart. So we've got a 79, 928, up to 36. Up to 36. Up to 36. 36. So we'll go to 666. The vet's going to go before. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. 964 now? So um, I think the vet's what's, probably what's where it needs you? to be. <laughs> or did you see the pants? Someone, someone said five, they're five beers deep. They're just, they're just now loosening it up. I'm only one in them, about a quarter. There, there, six, six, six. there we go. Hey, Meat Puppet. Meat Puppet? <laughs> there's a guy named Meat Puppet out there? Meat Puppet wants to know if there is a Kane's Bus update. Oh, there is a Kane's Bus update. Oh, geez, it's yeah. coming along. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> okay, so the vet is down to 44 seconds. We still got two minutes left on the Porsche. How are we doing on whatever's coming up next? Uh, Model A's next. Model A's next. Okay. Now, I've probably owned more Model A's than almost anybody except for Ford himself. Five minutes on the Model A. Okay. 30 seconds on the Corvette. All right, I got you. I got you. So uh, keep throwing those questions at me or requests or uh, however all that works. I think that uh, we need to crowdsource the ideology of how we want Vets going, the right-hand drive super built. Vets going, going, going. Vets fixing to go, fixing to drop, fixing to drop. And uh, we're on five, four, three, two, one, boom. So that one is going to our guy here in uh, Texas. Cool cat, uh, can't wait to meet you when you come here to pick it up. Super, super rad. Uh, let's jump on to uh, the Model A or the, where's the Porsche? Okay, so the Porsche's at 37. Guys, you're still getting a good deal. It's jamming. Someone, 45 seconds. Steve Green, or James Green is here. I don't know why I said Steve. Richard, 30 seconds on Porsche. 35 seconds on the Porsche 37. That is still an absolute deal. And whoever buys it, I'll show you the paperwork where I paid a lot more. So, so you can't win on everything. And uh, we got four minutes on a little Model A. Now these uh, uh, two-door sedans and two-door coupes, uh, 1928 uh, to 1931 Model A's, that's what kind of made Gas Monkey. That was our style. We really got heavy into it and uh, what have you. So I got an affinity for these cars. 
Uh, this one's a little wacky, like they can be. You know, it's got brown on the outside with this green interior, but you know, it kind of states to uh, what they were doing back in the day. Neat little car, you can have some fun with it. Uh, it it's right there, I think, right in the money. Uh, the Porsche's got one and a half minutes left. My boy James Green is here. A number one air, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm shamelessly plugging my friend's air conditioning. Oh, boom. 38. Another bump. 38. There we are, there we are. BG964 knows what up. 964 is a Porsche, dude. Hey, go get the look. Just pump. A number one air in the house. There we go. Yeah. What's up, James Green? Hey, buddy. Right on. Boom. So, okay. got about uh, one and a half minutes on the uh, Porsche. I feel like I'm that auctioneer going, oh, this is worth more. It was bought new by the original owner. You know? <laughs> Here we go. Phipps, you fail. After the model A, we've got... That's the it's just like the auction where the oh, high bidders yeah. on the, we, we got them on the internet. High, high bidders on the internet. After the Model A comes the 442 uh, Oldsmobile. Uh, if you read in the description, it didn't uh, begin life as a real 442, but uh, it does have some uh, very uh, distinctive qualities to it, uh, whatever it's called. It's a lot of resto model. Yeah, but it's also a very rare car, the way that it was built from the factory. I, I, I need to research my paperwork on that, but there were some comments in it that said they only made like X number of these cars. So super cool car. Phil says it's one of the fastest cars here. I don't agree uh, at all, but it's probably I, I, the fastest one I've let him drive. in that motion in a way other than the Ferraris. Yeah. Is there Ferraris here? Don't tell them that. <laughs> hey, Richard. Well, Gas Monkey, uh, Virgo 26 took the five bucks and asked him, Gas Monkey ever return to TV? 39, uh, 66. There we go. Uh, we're back up again on the Porsche. Two minutes left on the Model A. Uh, as far as if we'll ever return to TV, uh, we're fielding a lot of offers and talking to a lot of things. TV as you know it, or as you did know it, fast and loud, probably not. Uh, fast channel streaming, uh, you know, the interwebs itself, probably so. We're working on a few deals. Uh, it would have probably already happened if it weren't for this thing called COVID. But uh, also, you know, it was a lot of work for 10 years doing uh, uh, the old fast and loud. So I'm ready to take a little break and I've got through it and I'm ready to get back to work now. So there you go. Well, we're getting close on so it. People are responding to that and saying, no, you're way better on YouTube. So there you go. All right. Well, if you like us better on YouTube, that's cool. Cause you're watching us on YouTube right now. Get you some of that. Well, we're under a minute 30 on the Model A, it's at 15K. Oh, Peace is getting serious. He dropped a 666. He went straight to uh -oh. one. <laughs> hey, they're both getting a good deal compared to what I paid. I'm promising you that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what I paid for that Porsche when this auction ends. BG's in. Uh, we're, still, we're still not there. we got 54 seconds on the Model A. I think there's going to be some pizza come in here, here in a minute. That's a good price on that Model A. That's a nice car there. Ah, oh, Tony. It's a 29. See, I like tw I like 30s better because they're bigger in the well, they have second. Cow and yeah. On them too, but, but, you know. It's still a nice car for that. Model. I remember selling cars like that for 30, so they've come down a little bit. The guys that ride those are getting a little older. Hey, people want to know how much for that bike under the TV. <laughs> I can't sell that bike under the TV. It's got some sentimental value. And you know what I say about sentimental value. But uh, maybe one day we'll be able to unearth the real story about why that bike's there. 20 seconds, I'm all alone. All right, 20 seconds coming into 14. Richard. We're at 43,000 on the Porsche. So people on so that were asking if we could fire that Easy Rider bike. Uh, Rick in, I do, think. Do it live when it comes up. Yeah, we did. We did it on the show. Rick so Rick, Richard drove it on the show, right? He wrote Rick it. On, yeah, uh, we, we've loud. driven it. It runs, drives. I'll give you a guarantee on that. I don't really want to fire it up in here, but I will. Uh, Model A, forty. Model A sold fifteen grand. Uh, again, staying in Texas. We are at where on the Porsche? I can't 46. see the Porsche. The We're at forty-five grand. We're getting close to what I think that car's it's worth. Where's my screen it. here? What's going on? Four four two's coming up. We got the Porsche up. We've been having some spirited bidding. It's been going on for a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty fired up about that. And uh, here we go. Now the four four two is a beautiful car. It shows well. Um, I think if you look at the pictures real well, there was a few comments on a few little bitty imperfections, but nothing that wouldn't take you wouldn't stop.
James and them go over and make the cocktail? They're coming. Hey, will you show them where the champagne and stuff is? It's five o'clock somewhere. The mic might have died. Okay, well, let's make sure they know where everything is. No, Mike's good. Mike's good? What happened? They're saying no sound. Who's seeing no sound? Is there sound? Oh, there's sound. Yeah, there's we sound. got sound. Can't y'all see if I got sound? All right, we're up to 46 grand on the Porsche, 53 on the Oldsmobile. That's a killer deal right there. Uh, I, you know, you couldn't build that car for a hundred and a quarter. So somebody's getting a good buy there. Um, wow. How do these people get up on that auction block for that long? How's it look? Do I look, do I look thin? I'm looking fat? What's going on? Keep it tucked in. Keep it tucked in. Keep it tucked in? There you go. It says one woman in the crowd. All right. 54,000 on the nine, eight. We have piece of design hung in there. Hopefully for the win. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's see if there's any last seconds. Absolutely not. Piece of design. Thank you very much. You're going to love it. And like I said, when the auction was going on, I'm going to tell you right now that I paid $50,000 for that car. And uh, that's what I paid for it. So. I lost a little bit of money there, but uh, we got close. Okay. Cool, thank you, Pista. Uh, now, let's get that over there, and then the 37 uh, model 78 Coupe. Um, what? On the Cutlass. Oh, we're up to 60. How come I, no, that's the vet. We're up to 54 grand on the Cutlass. Quit messing things up, guys. Now we're backwards. Y'all are going the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we got a uh, Ma 1722. Let me see the comments here on uh, the, uh, the the 442 or Cutlass. Cutlass. I keep saying 442. It says in the description on, that it's on bat. Hey, and scroll me up on these comments on uh, the the. On bat. There we go. All right, that's what I want to see. There we go. There we go. How we doing on viewers? Well, How many people? 2900. Heck yeah, keep quitting your job. It's quiet quitting. Watch Richard sell cars. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can't get in trouble. Just tell him I said do it. We're at 54 5 on the uh, 57, 57 now 57. on the Cutlass. JJ W 007. What is that in your hand, James Green? It's a beer, man. Well, I got a back over there. Dude? Yeah, yeah. Because we go in the. the, 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 the I thought I thought I'd take it. I'd take it. Easy, all right, all right. Well, we'll get after it here in a little bit. <laughs> Diet vodka. I just I just lost a serious chunk of money on on the Porsche, but uh, and we got a, one or two other losers up there, but we're gonna see what happens. It's called averaging out. We uh, have one minute and twenty four seconds on the Cutlass. We're at fifty seven grand. Killer deal for that. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you, guys. I, I, I'm having fun. Fun. I might have to do this every weekend. This is kind of neat. You get to drink beer and sell cars. Sometimes for a profit. <laughs> hey, Big Chris, how we doing? No, I, I'm this, this better. I see this, this guy here. Okay. Big Chris is on it, and uh, he's having a good time over there in the box. He has to be over there because I'm not allowing him to drink beer while he's uh, paying attention to questions. 60 grand. 60 grand on the Cutlass. Wow. That's a good car there. I mean, if I was at a car show or at an auction myself or pulled up to a swap meet, I'd probably pull out the cash and buy it right there. I mean, it's right here. You can see it in the background. It's freaking rad. What? Huh? What did you say? I was talking about the car. <laughs> All right. Richard, this guy on the car. Yeah. This guy who was the high bidder on the spot. The back there. That point where was just JJW. Oh, really? Yeah. But hey, JJW007. Uh, went up again. Now, I don't see his name on there. He, he's, he, he got outbid. He's right okay. All right, all right. We're at Me and you were tangling on a car uh, on the Espada, and uh, I ended up not getting it bought either. It was, uh... It'd be nice to know what, what happened with yeah, that. Yeah, it would be nice to know what happened with that, but I almost got caught up in it, whatever it was. 
Yeah, JJ got adopted. That's familiar. They came out. But we're moving. All right. So we got a minute left there. Uh, two minutes on the Ford, two minutes and 43 seconds. What do you got for me? You got questions? You got answers? I'm no one's question. No one's question. They're just saying you have ADHD. I'm pretty sure. Why? Well, we all knew that. Well, it's, it's pretty hard to stand up here and keep track of all of these. You want to see what's next after the uh, coops? No, I'm fine right now. Let's just watch this. 61, 442. Now that's a guy that's serious about the car. Man. Yeah, he is. Well, he's been on it for a little bit. Hey, he's nuts. 63. Best the boy is. JJW jumped in, back in it. Well, I'm going to cut the controversy on uh, these nuts and tell you who my best employee is, and that's uh, going to have to be Daphne. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, it's the only way I stay out of trouble. <laughs> Say cutest. Where's the cutest? Tony. Is he closing the other deals? Why did send you? Because I got closed the other deals. Ten. It's ten I don't want to see. Because he, he, he just I don't jump back in. It's six Live, three. Live is done. What? It's, 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 it's on. Okay, well. It ended on the phone. Well, what's going on, guys? I'm not sure if it ended or what happened. Am I on? Am I not on? I'm seeing it. So. No, stop. Another bump. On YouTube, stop. Well, how do we get it back on? Quick, everybody. Go back to your YouTube. Who's, how did... your, who's your best looking employee? You. About Under 37 went up. Gosh, you sure paid a lot. You're, 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 you're the employee earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> one of the things. Hey, your 37 is at 20. Richard, he bought six recently. Okay, so we're at uh, 20 grand on the 37. Now, let me tell you a little bit about that car. I, I got so tied up in watching the 442 yeah. Cutlass. Uh, the 37 a is a really, really neat car. So yeah, disclaimer, it's not a 442, it's, it's, but anyways. No, uh, the, the bid is at, four, oh, just bumped it, but they had 442 as their number. The, the little 37 model 78 coupe is literally a piece of history. It's literally only been kept up its whole life, taken care of. It's not one of these restored, overwhelming cars. It's just beautiful. If it's been repainted, and I say if, it was a long, long time ago, you can tell that the car's not ever been like torn apart. The interior's still original. Really, really cool. So uh, that's a good car there. And I got more money in that car. Uh, yeah, whoever's doing the 442, that's dope. Yeah, whoever's doing the 442, I love it. Be mine. Yeah. Oh, oh six, six, six. Come on, 442, get back in there. Yeah, perhaps Texas Governor said Juju's killing us today. Great job, BAT, for setting this up like this. Well, we don't know if GMG is killing it on BAT. We got to wait till the end. We got a lot of cars left to sell. <laughs> we ain't killing it yet. Yeah, we're still we're still Speaking trying to get on. along. So we got about a minute left on both auctions. A little over a minute. Things are going well. <laughs> Someone, cut, someone, someone said that we cut the uh, we cut the live stream once you said Daphne was the best employee. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. <laughs> you guys, you guys yeah. probably yeah. did. Daphne cut off the internet. <laughs> you guys Maz probably did. There's 442. Yeah. There's Maz stepping back up. Maz back in. And Maz. 45 seconds for the 37. All right, 37. Somebody's getting a really cool little coupe there. Um, you know, it should be worth a little bit more money. Um, I paid a little bit more than that for it, plus some transportation fees to get it here. But uh, great car. Um, you'll be happy with that, especially its originality and uh, just, you know, how cool it is the inside, the outside, everything. It's just a piece of history. Where are we at? Still going. Boom. Still rolling. Uh, 20 seconds left on the coupe. All right, 16. 15. I gotta hand it to my uh, team of millennials here. They put together a pretty good little system that we're working out and uh, everything's getting in. Why do you gotta make fun of millennials? Because I'm not one. All right, three, two. <laughs> Boom. Okay, 37 mile 78 coupe went for uh, 20,250. 20, uh, yeah. Lost money a little bit there. To Druid City. Uh, the uh, Maz is up here still on the 442 wow. Cutlass. Uh, we're calling it the 72 Oldsmobile Color Supreme Convertible. Six-speed 
Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty uh, um, rare car as far as its options and what have you. Um, 30 seconds left on that one. Now, next up is my 57 Ford truck. Uh, there's been some comments in there like, oh, it's junky, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. This is a one owner truck. Let's, let's see here. We got uh, 17, 16 seconds left on that. And then I'll get to the Ford truck. We're getting down to... Uh, um, Getting down to the wire there. See what happens. Going. Yeah, that's it. Hammer. There we go. Looks like uh, Ma 1722 ended up with the cut list for 67 442. Nice end on the there. Uh, on the Dodge. Uh, sorry, we're not on the Dodge yet. We're on the Ford. Sorry, I got a lot of screens in front of me, guys. Uh, so this 57 Ford. I bought it a swap meet just this past uh, season, um, and I paid more money than that because it's got just the best patina you've ever seen. It does run and drive, but it's not super roadworthy. It'll go around the block. You're not getting on the freeway and driving this one home. <clears throat> but it is a one owner truck out of Northern Louisiana. Very little crustaceans here and there, but I mean, I've seen people try to fake patinas like that car right there. So uh, if you're building one or you just want a cool one to drive, that's it. Uh, I paid a lot of money for it because uh, I thought it was one of the better looking patinas that I've seen. Uh, and uh, you know, it's just a neat truck all the way around. And where are you gonna get a one owner 57 Ford F1? I do not know. So uh, that one ends in about a minute and a half. I think it should bring a little bit more money, but it's still a cool truck. And uh, then next is my Jaguar. I can't believe that's not doing better than that. That one might hurt quite a bit. Hey, Sean. Yes, sir. The truth. Alex Butlin said Sean P is the best. I am. Thank I you. <laughs> Appreciate that. So we got a, a minute left on the uh, 57 Ford. The Jaguar coming up, and I'm going to get a little bit of a break there maybe, is uh, literally 12,000 original miles, long wheelbase. Uh, sedan series two and 100% uh, original. If you're looking at that, go look at the pictures of the engine compartment, things like that. It is really, really amazing. The car runs and drives. Uh, and uh, I, if you look at the picture of the interior, you'll see where the uh, headrest is kind of deflated. It looks kind of crusty. It's not crusty, it's still soft leather, but they were known for that. They were known for the stuffing falling out. And the reason that I didn't um, fix it is because again, it's an original car and I don't like to hide things or gloss them over. I want to tell the story like it is. You could literally unzip that with your with your uh, your, your own two hands, stuff some cotton up there and it'd be just fine. But uh, other than that, the car's a really neat car, original everything, V12. and it's a V12. So uh, I personally think that, uh, you know, as far as when you go into the foreign cars uh, overseas, front engine V12, that's a gentleman's car. That's the way to do it. Um, uh, someone, someone from the UK, said that that Jaguar should be going for double at least. It's an all-time classic. You just cannot find them in that condition anymore. Well, you're from the UK. You can buy it. I mean, someone from the UK said it was worth double at least. And I paid more than that. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Virgo took us $5 and asked if you can give a shout out to his son, Colton, whose birthday is tomorrow. Hey, Virgo. <laughs> Here's a shout out to your son, Colton, who's turning how old? Okay, well, your birthday's tomorrow. Colton, you have a good birthday. All right. 45. 45 seconds on the on the Ford. And someone wants to know if you would build a Bronco Gen 2. Um. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a no. Like you. Like a small Bronco? No. The one after the one we have out there, the first one. It's fucking weird. Yeah. All right. So we're uh, we're moving a little bit on the Jaguar, guys. If, if you're under 15 grand on that, you're going to be so happy when you get it. It's going to blow your mind. Uh, the uh, Ford truck here fixed to drop at uh, 10 seconds. And. Uh, wow, well, you can count. 2 1. 77 J A T C J T. What's up? 7,700 in the house, you're gonna be happy with that. Uh, if, if you're a builder or you just want a cool patina truck, you're gonna be stoked on that. Uh, let's get this Jaguar up top and see what's next. Wow. 
We're not even halfway through. Okay, guys and gals, coming up next is a car that I chased forever. The Jaguar's got about three minutes, so I'm going to spend a couple of minutes on this gold uh, 32 five window coupe. This car was painstakingly built in a friend of mine's garage with his dad and his dad's good friend. This car is beautiful in every way, shape, or form. That it's, number is way too it's, cheap. It's so out of the range the right now at 50 grand. Uh, it, it, look at the pictures of the underneath, the engine compartment, the detail, the wiring, the everything. Uh, somebody came to look at it and slammed the door the other day and cracked the uh, driver's side window. So uh, we have a new window being put in it right now. Uh, other than that, this car is amazing. Uh, plenty of room. I'm 6'2". I fit in there perfectly. Uh, the way that they built the seat and the way that it leans down, I think you could drive it if you were 6'4 or 5 and still be comfortable. Uh, it's the most thought out, well planned, well executed 32 pretty much that I've ever seen as far as a hot rod goes. This is just an amazing car um, and it is Way under the money, I hate to say that, but it is. We're, 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 we're messing around with the uh, Jaguar now at two minutes, $8,100. Somebody's stealing that Jaguar. That Jaguar is so clean. And Richard, someone said, stop dancing at OP already. What? <laughs> someone said, stop dancing at OP already. Actually, I'm trying to look at both things. I'm, I don't even have to pee that bad yet. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I move around a lot. If anybody knows me here, you know, as soon as my phone rings, I start walking. It's just a bad oh, habit. <laughs> but I can dance. <laughs> so uh, we're under two minutes oh, on the no. Jag. If if nobody in the 32 early the Ford world is paying attention to this uh, coupe right here, uh, I guarantee you the guy that built it probably is. Because uh, he said he was going to be watching the auction. This car's really, really pretty. And if you saw what the early Fords were selling for at the Mecham auction, uh, God, I probably should have said that. Uh, they were bringing up the, uh, <laughs> up the uh, prices a little bit. They were pretty strong this past weekend. Uh, we're at 8400 uh, Delta Mike X150. Sounds like karate there. Delta Mike. Coming in trying to steal one. Owen Gossett just called me and said, how do I get in here and get on bidding? And he said, my crack is showing. Oh! My crack is not showing. That is great. <laughs> but he's got So we're at 8,500 on the Jag. Uh, we got about two minutes left to go. Guys and gals out there, I'm telling you, the 32 Ford, yeah, I, I, I signed it up at no reserve, but I'm disappointed there. That, Somebody's going to steal that, that car. Dude. The Jaguar is moving and it's moving in the right direction finally. It ain't moving very fast. Uh, but it's moving. It's my uh, understanding when it starts moving in $100 increments, it ain't going fast. But it's, uh, it's going. Well, there's four there and somebody's yeah, uh, nine grand. Nine grand. 400. He's trying to pass. Getting serious. And I drive fast. Yeah. 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 I got more than double that in that car. I know what you got in that car, yeah. I know, you paid for it. Well, you didn't pay for it. That car is super clean, guys. It is original. We went through a lot of it. It's just a pair of car. Got. Hey, Richard. Uh, sir. Fox Body Toys tip us $5 and ask if you ever build a 90s Mustang. Fox Body? Oh, yeah. I'd love to build a Fox Body. We just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. And uh, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, and uh, maybe we can get uh, Vanilla Ice to come by. He's just up the street. We can build a, a white Fox Body convertible, right? Yeah. Be like Ice Ice Baby? Or is that not cool anymore? Am I dating myself? No, that's still <laughs> cool. Like, rolling through All right, Jaguar's kicking there. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you right now. Um, can they see all that? No. Okay. Huh? All right, so one minute on the Jag. I am very surprised that the Roadster, somebody, or at the 32.5 uh, window, if somebody doesn't jump in, that's going to crack me up. I it's hope probably somebody's going to make me cry. On the enter button on that one, because wow. <laughs> what? Well, you know who wanted that car bad was Freddie. Where are you at, Freddie? You should have been bidding. Should I call him? He, he's got three minutes. Better hurry. Yeah, Mike Jones said he was going to step up on what? it, too. What? Under a minute for the Jag. Okay, 41 seconds on the Jag. I might have to step off when this forward goes because it's going to make me sick. 
Ten four Delta five. Another two minutes. That, that gold car right there is bring it really, ten four. Is awesome. really well done. I mean, it's Richard, ten four. Really well done. Yeah, I see that. Ten four on the Jag. We're still well under what I paid for it. I got almost double that in it. Ten seven fifty. I drive fast. He's oh, serious no, about it. Go hard, huh? He's ready to go really fast in that least one. Someone said you should build a Diablo 6.0. Yeah, it's, in, it's, in, it's ending in 2 minutes 30 seconds. I'm going to tell Freddy that, that thing's up there. I'm on the phone with Freddy. He's moving dirt. I can hear him. <laughs> How's it going according to you guys? Yeah, I know. I can hear you laying ass. Fall. Oh. All right, guys, we're back down to uh, a minute. Two minutes on uh, what we affectionately call Goldie here. Um, that All car right. is really cool. Somebody's got to start well, sneaking in here in a minute. I mean, all steel. Oh, you're, you're under that. Okay. 32. All right, I'll get off phone. Get we it. did clarify it has a SoCal asphalt. box chassis underneath it. Bye. Car runs, and that's a truly, I don't say this very often because they're all hot rods. You can fly in and drive that one home as long as you don't live on another continent. Uh, Freddy's laying asphalt. Three three thousand people are now watching. All right, thanks for three thousand people. Way more than cable. Are you cable. watching that? Are you watching that? Right, right be noisy. Watching. All right, we got thirty seconds on the Jag. We're losing a little bit there. I can't believe anybody's not jumping on the gold car. Thank you for your watching. That's cheaper than that gold car, huh, Dennis? Okay, we'll see you in a bit. All right, one minute and six seconds on the Jag. Somebody's getting a hell of a deal there. You're gonna be super stoked with that. Boom. Right. right on. I drive fast. Oh, I drive fast. That's going gone. Let's get uh let's get Goldie up here. 10, Forty-eight seconds. Wow. You're going the wrong way. There you go. Nobody has moved on Goldie. Yeah. They're dead. They moved five hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, let me tell you that guy's paying attention. Because this car should have moved twenty-five grand. This, this gold car, whoever's watching, whoever camera. That is one of the nicest 32s that I've seen in the last 25 years. And he was alive when they made them new. Yeah. yeah. That's why I get to work on them. <laughs> <laughs> but really, it's, it's, whoever gets that is not going to be disappointed at all. I might try to buy it back from them when they come to pick it up. I might give you some profit just to go back home. I don't know if that's legal or not, but oh, man. All right, so a little break in the action here. Up next is the monster truck. Man, if, if you had money and you were cool in the early 2000s, you had one of these all tricked out paint. You probably had a big scarab behind you going to the lake on the weekends with a whole bunch of ladies. Oh yeah, here we go. Right, Goldie's uh, moving a little bit. Move 500 bucks, come on guys. Hey, it's better than uh, no bucks. Somebody just take out all the bidders and mark 75 grand. Jeff 1932 stuff. Well, Def 1932 knows what he's talking about. Yeah. That was a wicked ride. So the monster truck over here is a grocery getter. <laughs> 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 it takes two parking spots, but it is a grocery getter. But make sure you're paying attention to the uh, the pictures on the monster truck. It only has like 11 or 12,000 miles on original. Uh, it, the paint went all the way through the door jams and everything else. Um, I've driven it home a few times. It's just, it's just fun. Uh, I mean, for, for uh, 27,000 bucks, you can't have much more fun. We got one minute coming up on the 32, and uh, nobody is paying attention here. Now we are. Spuler. Spuler. <laughs> Thanks, Spuler. <laughs> uh, can't have more fun. I just don't even know how you would. <laughs> They're working on firing up the uh, Easy Riders chopper here in a second uh, when it comes up. The uh, bottom line is we do have a few videos of that. 
Uh, if you've got a kickstart magneto bike, you know they can be a little cantankerous. All right. That, uh, that's a new one, isn't it? We got a new person in the chat. All right. That nut. Fresh meat. Key on? <laughs> yeah. Good lights on. 52.5, still way under the money with a minute 30 to go. And uh, the monster truck coming up next. Freddie's going to be upset. I'm not working out. <laughs> so you want me to come do that? Please. She's all right. You get through. Well, I, 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 I didn't say I was going to come do it. I said, do you want me to come do that? I'd love no, I to. That one. All right, guys. Goldie, seriously. All right. Here we go. We're moving in on a minute on uh, the 32 Ford. Two minutes on the uh, Chevy Silverado. Um, I can't say you can't have $27,000 worth of fun any faster than that. What are y'all laughing about over there? Someone is making fun of Sean. What did I do? They just said, We're not going to say it. Yeah. What? What? Say it. 40 seconds. All right, guys. Uh, this should be uh, interesting. There we go. Spieler, step back in. Spieler's back in. All right. Y'all need. Y'all need. Somebody needs to just hit them at five, five grand increment. <laughs> Uh, whoever said that, the answer is no. <laughs> Send pigs. <laughs> Dude, there's like, there's like, at least that's like you know, seven or eight times. Send pigs. No. <laughs> Maybe. All right, do we get any questions while we're waiting? Uh, uh, Dale Kill sent 10 bucks and said, my dad wants to build a 1969 Charger. IDK, what it would cost me to build. Uh, whatever you cost on the car is going to be directly determinant as to what the final cost is. So you got to start with a good car, and you're looking at 250 right. and up, depending on the selection from there. Yep, yep. So 250 grand and up. I think the, tr the big truck's going to go faster. I'm fixing to go get one when I get rid of one. There you go. I just I can't leave. This uh, 32 going right, at this up. inexpensive. Uh, we got a little bit on the uh, big monster truck. We're at 32.5. Two minutes left to go now. That's good. That's good. I had a little bet with Sean back here that it looks like I might lose because I thought it was going to bring a lot more than that. I like winning bets. But I got to tell whoever's bidding on this truck, you put your logo on that and you put that in your front yard or whatever, it gets so much attention. It's not even funny. Ask Owen Goss if you're talking. <laughs> Richard, someone wants to know why you sell your cars at no reserve. You know, uh, because if you're going to the trouble to get ready for an auction and put them out there, you can't have a pie in the sky number that you hope it's going to bring, or you can't think, oh, my car's worth 100 grand, when it's probably only worth 60. So what you got to do is put it out there and let the market decide. And by doing it with bringing trailer, they they are literally dictating the market now. Uh, you know, you can go on to bring a trailer and search past auctions. I do it all the time. If somebody's pitching me a car, I go in, I type it in, 32 Ford, you know, and it tells me what they've been selling for in the last few months or few weeks. Uh, and I'm able to use that as a great barometer of what the market's gonna bring. So uh, also, I thought about holding a, a couple of three reserves and that just seemed like uh, not a cool move. So they're all no reserve, they're all going to new homes. And uh, we're at uh, 54032, whatever that means. That's, a, that's right. fresh meat right there, D What's up, Brother James? Hey, buddy. Hey, thanks, man. Somebody got me a beer, just like you asked. Hey, under 30 seconds. I gave you a beer like Oh, uh, under 30 seconds on the monster truck. Can you get my beer back? Man? Guys, you could not have more fun with this for $32,500. Um, so let's see where that goes. Going. Uh, we're at nine, eight. It's gonna jump. Oh, it should jump, but here we go. Boom, all right. Oh. 
Checking for last second bids. Uh, thank you uh, to the winner, uh, Pepsi 300 on the uh, on the monster truck. The 32 is still clicking along. Uh, we got 30 seconds left to go. Now this is our panhead chopper. Uh, this chopper is well in the money here. It is absolutely a piece of art. It will blow your mind. The next one coming up. Um, it is sketchy to ride. Me and Rick Fairless from Strokers will tell you that because it was built as a show vehicle. You can ride it, it's just a handful, and uh, you better have your biceps up. But uh, runs and drives, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, great bike. I actually bought it as a piece of art to uh, put in the front room of my house. Uh, and if you've been paying attention to our YouTube, I, I was fortunate enough to be the new caretaker uh, with the winning bid of the Happy Days motorcycle from all 16 seasons of Fonzie's. So, um, Happy Days. So it got replaced. Uh, and this one's going to a new home. Hey, Richard. Uh, Eco Tent Shop wants to know how much for the elk in the background. The elk is not for sale. The elk, you could steal one like I did. They have one just like it in front of every Twin Peaks. You just got to run up there in the middle of the night, and then I had mine painted 12. That's that's, that's our, you know, painted gold. That's what happened, you know. So uh, I was watching minutes and seconds, and so I saw it 12. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's your standard elk from the front of Twin Peaks. Just hook a chain to it and yeehaw out of there. We have 58 seconds left. The Ford Coupe is up to 5,500. Uh, we got two minutes left on the uh, Harley Davidson Panhead Chopper. Richard Super is currently at 105. Oh, and a little update way down the list. The Super is at 105, and uh, I think that that car is going to keep going. And uh, you know, so uh, let's let's uh, see what happens with that. But I'm telling you, this this red panhead, this red panhead chopper, guys, all you want is for it to be in uh, your front room or your garage, your man cave. It's a wicked bike, and uh, it's really well done. It's been in a ton of magazines. We're at 22 seconds at 55 grand on the 32 Ford Five window. Wow, that's a that's a hell of a buy. It's a good buy. I'd buy it there. All right. But are we done? Ten I thousand. think we're going to be uh, done. I think Spuler done scared him off. Three, two. been in there um okay so uh now that you can hear me uh guys you see what these supers are bringing this is 16,000 original miles and uh that is a killer buy right there uh i can't say enough good things about it my panhead's got a minute left we got a minute 30 seconds here on the supra and uh here we go 109 on the supra 109 on the supra What's up? Mopars 5150's in the house. Killer. All right. So, uh, Terry Madden. You think it's the Terry Madden? I don't know. Um, so, uh, somebody's fixing to get a killer deal. Let's oh, yeah. see what the that super... Is, that is the, uh, that's the bike that's... 
Huh? The bike ratio, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're at 110 500 on the Super, guys. That's still under the money, uh, but it's no reserve. So if you want it, you better start bidding. Uh, uh, 21,000 now. 21,000 on the pan head. Uh, you, you couldn't even think about trying to do all that artwork and all that paint for that. So, no. Um, you're not allowed to bid. You're part of the friends and family thing. Oh, well, you work here. Um, anyways. <laughs> 21,000 with a minute 30. Uh, we're, we got about the same amount of time on both these auction guys. We were up to 113 on the Supra, 113. That is a killer car and uh, it's 16,000 miles. That's that's the bottom line, it's 16,000 miles. So get on it. Uh, we got the Bronco coming up after that. Uh, basically brand new, I think it's got like what, 150 miles on it maybe? 105. 105 miles on it. 21,000 on the Panhead. Guys, I got more than that in it, but it's no reserve. Uh, so there you go. Um, let's see, let's see. 113 on the Supra. Wow, this is a lot harder work when you're doing it for a long time. <laughs> you need another beer? No, I don't need any more beer. I've only had uh, two now. Richard, where's the millennial team's beer? Uh, the millennial team cannot start drinking beer until further on into the sale here. Uh, so uh, we got one minute to go on the Supra. Uh, if you've been watching them, go on Bat right there and type up what they've been going for. Now we're at 115. You can do the research tool on Bat and it'll tell you what this car's worth. 22.5 on the Harley Davidson. We're uh, we're getting there as far as. Golly, I hate to see it. If you'd have walked in here before I decided to do this and offer me 22.5, I would have said no. So um, it's a killer, killer bike. Uh, the Bronco's under two minutes now. 73,000, brand new, fully loaded, every available option. Um, and the RTR package from Von Gittin Jr.'s company, RTR. Uh, we're up to 23,000 on that. And 115 on the Toyota Supra. Guys, you better be paying attention and doing your research because both of these are good deals um you know the bronco is just it's done it's ready to rock you know if you're if you're one of those guys that wants to buy your kid a brand new bronco this is it all right where are we at Whew, i'm running out of breath it's hot back here too all these lights 23.5 terry madden stay in there i mean you're safe all the way up to 30 as far as i'm concerned probably 40. Um, you're still stealing it. We're one minute on the Bronco. Um, one minute on the Bronco. Oh, he gets 30 seconds on the Supra. 30 seconds on the Supra. He just got outbid it. Terry did. Motor car collector, he knows what he's looking at. All right, get back in there, Terry. Uh, 115 on the Supra. Somebody's fixing this. Just literally take candy from a baby right here. 120, there you go. Somebody's paying attention. Why did you do that? It's all discombobulated now. <laughs> so uh, here we go. I want to see the panhead get on up a little bit more. I got more than that in it. And uh, the Supra, come on guys, you gotta be paying attention. Okay. Would y'all quit messing with my screens? And I don't, I, I, I don't know where my Supra is. Well, this is five seconds left on the Bronco. Okay, well, five seconds left on the Bronco. One, it's down at 73. Okay, going to El Jefe for 73,000. Get me back to my Supra. Somebody needs to buy that for more money. All right, we're at 120 now, 24.5 on the panhead. All right, this is getting interesting now. Come on, this is kind of fun. Uh, guys, you're, you're under the money on both of those. The panhead is trick, trick, trick. Um, that, that thing is just so cool. And uh, we're at 120 on the super under a minute to go. Uh, again, somebody's going to end up with a really good deal there. Oh man, I'm starting to sound like an auctioneer. <laughs> I'm not going to have any voice after this. Hey, be careful with that Porsche over there. I already sold it. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 121 on the Super. Two minutes back on the clock. Motor car collector, you got a minute. Terry Madden, you got just a few more minutes to jump back in there. Whew. 
All right, stretch it out. Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on. Now, we got a minute and a minute left. My head's gonna be sore from looking up at these screens. We should have lowered them. Um, 121 on the Super Guys, still a good deal. Uh, I mean, still well in the money, as they say at the auction. Uh, 25 grand basically on the, the pan head is cool. 30 seconds left to go. Where is Terry? Don't let him get you. All right. And the Bronco went. 73,000 while we were looking. How are we doing on the Zimmers coming up? Now that. We missed the Bronco. The Zimmers coming up. Now that is a rad dude. 12, 10 seconds on the Panhead and 45 seconds on the Super at 121. Guys, both of these are killer deals and uh, I might have left some money on the table here. Uh, right on Mopar Collector, or Motor Car Collector. Right on on that, you're gonna love that thing. Let's watch this 30 seconds on the Super. Somebody's missing out and not paying attention. This is kind of fun. I wonder if I could do this like once a quarter. This would be kind of neat. You said you're out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, we're down to 10 seconds on the Supra. Somebody's going to get a good deal here. Here we go. Um, here we go. Seven, eight. Who we who we got bidding on the Supra? Supra up here. And waiting for the last seconds. Boom. Sold at 121. Good deal there. All right, guys. Midget Racer with two minutes left to go at 12.5. I've seen these cars on bat sell for 40 grand. This is killer wall art, killer vintage car. Uh, it's it's really 100% complete. It's got the injection, uh, the small uh, V60, uh, V8, uh, and it's just kick ass. It's sat around here for the last five years uh, in the shop here at Monkey Trap, and it's people just flock to it. It's just so neat uh, to, to see it uh, in person. Uh, you're well, doing well here. I'm not even going to say enough because they just sold one for bringing trailer on $40,000 the other day. Shop, 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 shop. shop truck is coming up. All right. You guys gonna, are not getting a bonus. I'm going to let, you, I'm gonna let you, you millennials can come up here and talk about the shop truck. I'm going to take a break for a second. Woo! Come on, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Handle it. Let's go, Brandon. I ain't kidding. Handle it. He's, he's over there. We would like to eat lunch and afford dinner. So if y'all could get that shop truck up just a little bit above, what was it, 20%? 20%? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. At this point, I don't yeah. think we're gonna, what, he has the rent cost. I mean, I think at cost. this point, I would just be happy if it made like, like two dollars so we can just split that three ways yeah I'm, it's a I'm badass little truck bad. though yeah <laughs> it's, it's a badass little truck yeah. well kenny i guess is in it too no victory no oh, no no kenny. that's us three you can't split two dollars like like four ways yeah you can't just well that's just absurd no here we go Anyways. we got a minute 45 on the midget racer <laughs> the shop truck is cool though the interior is completely redone new rims new tires um, you, you don't know, even so know what the heck you did to it. Yeah, yeah, on the, because I did, cleaned it. Because because I filmed it. I see we you guys filmed it. You guys hot seated. Yeah. That's all you did. You I can't wait it. to look at the live chat and of what people are saying about it. We did beat the shit out of the wheels. No, I'm sure the wheels. that we. Uh, <laughs> because this is after I broke it down on the way here. So, what happened to the engine? Well, what did you do to the engine? I fixed it. Overheated it. Uh, Midget Racer, we've got minute 30 left. That Dragger really 54. Cool. Uh, it takes a I remember whenever, whenever, like Richard bought this. He bought it, uh, I think, up in uh, Oklahoma somewhere. I think the only person small enough to fit in there is Kenny. No, it was here. It was at. Uh, yeah, we bought that at. Um, no, we bought it in Oh, which one though? Like you were here, yeah. The truck. No, no truck we bought here with the midget racer. racer. I don't know where you go. Truck we couldn't even make it 20 yeah, miles home. <laughs> Somebody stealing that midget racer. Absolutely. It's a small person racer. Small yeah. person racer. Come on, it's 2022. Oh, here we go. 13.5. Insane. 
Huh? <laughs> Whoever drives oh, that, that car, when, yeah. they, when they actually race that car, they are people just roasting us in the live chat? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. As always. It's all our motor. biggest fans. Yeah. When they say all motor, that's all motor. No, yeah. <laughs> I love the people in their basement just talking shit about all people. Everybody in the comments knows exactly what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. There is no There's an a motor and an axle. That's not moving at all over there. Yeah, I think us being on camera is actually like hurting, hurting. that truck. I, I, I heard people no, actually no, sold the cars in the body. Yes, I remember when all these six-year-old men still living in their mother's basements um, were wow. our age. They, where do you think they worked at? Burger King or McDonald's? They can say, do you want fries with that? So yeah. That's all that counts. Would you like to supersize that? That's also one of their favorite lines. All right, under a minute. Yeah, this, this car is extra, man. That's, that's yeah. This is a Tony, are you speaking about this Curtis, Curtis style midget? It, it's a $30,000 car right now. I mean, those things are bringing rain and they're nostalgic, so you can't get them anymore. Yeah. Well, right now it's only bringing 13 bucks. Well, I know, that's it. Someone's it's a steal. It. 30 seconds left. Who's winning that one? Dan C4. Dan C4. Cool little username. No one's bidding on our truck, it's fine. People want Richard back now. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Let's sure they take do. the cameras, go into the bathroom, give the people what they want, right? Yeah. Yeah. There it was, 14. That's Somebody the last thing to do that. <laughs> okay. So we got two <laughs> players here. Truck is under two minutes now. That should do, yeah. I'm sure it's true. All proceeds go to There's two right here. Brody or? No, it's not Brody. Chase, talk about the shop truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I just, I just assist. It's got custom paint on the doors and the fenders. One off. <laughs> They use the paint it's, come it's up. lowered. It's lowered. Hey, it's, John, hey, it's got Julie Alders. The paint does come off. <laughs> you should probably tell them about the paint that how the sides it does come off. You can label it whatever you want. So somebody was waiting on Goldie to pump it Yeah, because the stuff comes off on the side and it went up a hundred bucks. Goldie didn't go up much. <laughs> what Goldie go? 55? Uh, 56. So, we actually made it. All right, a little racer. Wow. Here we go. Yeah, but it was bought for at the right time. You, bought, you, you don't make money when you sell a car, you make money when you buy it. Both these are about to drive. What's the shop truck at? Nine and change. 14, where we got 20 seconds. Somebody needs to punch that, uh, it up there. What happens to Dan C4? Oh, there he is. There he oh, he's back on. He came back. He's the truck four. He really has been on the truck, too. The truck went up, too. Who's been on the truck? James Lyon. I actually brought a couple of cars today. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it. 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 <laughs> What's the truck at? 91. Because the, the less we talk, the more bids go up. Pizza break. See, the shop truck just went up again. <laughs> Okay. It might make ten grand. People are saying viewers not make ten grand. Viewers are leaving. Bring cat on. Screen. Hey cat, they're saying insert cat. <laughs> cat, you gotta come on screen real quick. Cat's gotta come on screen. Is what a no? That's what the 
give them what they want. Is that good there? And then they're going to want to see your feet. <laughs> In that way. Yeah. I thought I was being gentle. Is that thing moving? No. 15 seconds left on the measure racer. It's gonna, it's gonna roll. Come on, here she goes. Come on, Jay. Fifteen grand. Just own it. Oh, Three, and two. it's oh, done. Sold. Sold. So fourteen two. You won't be able to see that. Too. All right, shop truck. You can't see this. That's no, about. That's actually about. The Somewhat. Yeah. The little inch of that can. It just did. Boom. Where do you want it? Fourteen two five. Oh, this church. Fourteen two five for the uh Forty two five? Fourteen. Yeah. Well that's horrible. That's what we were this saying. Yeah. That's why we're all over here crying. Why? I'll tell you where. Where are we at, guys? Shop truck? Shop truck's at ninety five hundred. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these two stands. I, I'm, am I good here? Yeah, I don't know. I'm asking your team. I think you're going to be too close to the table. Yeah. That's too close. It's just don't sit on it. So we know. Are we starting in here or something? Yeah, we're starting. <laughs> That's but really close right there. Don't, just don't. <laughs> so we can pull the table. All right, everybody. Tell me what's going on and where we're at. Um, the shop truck. Was Where's the Zimmer? The Easy Rider is not coming up for another three cars. Where's shop the truck. Zimmer? Right there, six minutes left. All right, six minutes left, guys. They took all my space. I guess I'm going to move back here. Shop truck. I don't think that's a bad. That's a bad. Chris wants it. With the bike? Huh? Chris wants yeah, it. Yeah, um, I'm going to start it um, like 10 minutes. Chris, like before. Chris here? Yeah, but that's one of the last things on the list, right? It's gonna be, we're done doing it for another couple minutes. Okay, we've got, uh, you know, weirdness going on here, guys and gals. 9,600 on the shop truck. Uh, if you watch the episode, we definitely have more money in it than that, but uh, cool little truck, you can have some fun with it. Uh, take your kids to the ice creams, cones, what have you. I can't believe that I leave my uh, people in charge and they don't even talk, they just stare at the camera. Well, they just shit on us because, you know, they hate us. Why did they shit on you? I can't believe that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> wow, ninety-seven hundred dollars. This is too big. Bridget, why don't you just push it that way for a second and then bring it back later? But it's we're in there now. All right, am I in the camera frame or whatever? Yep. Well, kick ass. Let's get back to it. Anybody got any questions for me? Comments? We're uh, shop truck model A and the Zimmer. Where's the Zimmer? Let's get back to the shop. We have a wall for the Zimmer. Okay. Let's get through the shop truck. All right, keep me posted. <laughs> Bronco did sneak up though fast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Guys, we're uh, about two thirds of the way through. Everything's jamming. Uh, I think that uh, I don't know. I can't do the math that fast, but let's just hope All that right. it keeps well, going. We'll Ten grand on the uh, on there, and uh, then we've got a Model A that just sold for fifteen thousand dollars. We weren't even talking about it. That one's staying in Texas. I saw that guy bid on it earlier today. Good job. Shop truck keeps moving. Let's get my Zimmer up here where I can see it. Terry Madden. Terry Madden. You needed the chopper with the shop truck. The Zimmer is up here. Now, guys, uh, when we took the pictures to begin with on the Zimmer, we did not open up the trunk. We have all the original books, papers, everything about the car. I think it's only got like 400 miles on it. Whatever's listed there is original mileage. This is probably the best Zimmer in the entire world if you're into Zimmers. I think it's pretty cool and it's based on Fiero. So what would be really neat is you could actually do an LS swap in it and that'd be pretty bitchy. 
Any more comments? I got to run over there, hit the restroom, and cram one small piece of pizza, and now I'm back at it. All right, 10250 on the shop truck. Zimmer's at 19750. And uh, I guess after that, we're with the uh, 50 model business coupe, which has been getting a lot of questions. Yeah, and all day on the shop truck. Hundred dollar up all yep. day. Yeah, and I just saw that uh, what the uh, little midget racer sold for when I left the room. That was a steal. I mean, that was a good deal. What actually happened was Richard was crying over there. I might have been. I might, have, that, I, I might cry was by, bad. I might cry by the end of the tail of the tape here. <laughs> that was bad. All right, we're moving. I'm getting beat up on the phones too. You guys got no comments? I feel like we're we're lagging in the bike. middle. What? We're starting the bike. Right now? Right now. When is the bike coming up? Chris wants it before the bike comes up. So we're starting the bike. Uh, it's got, it's seven minutes out. I know it is. Under a minute, it did five. I think the shop truck is still where we need to be talking. Uh-huh. Because that, for 10 grand, is cheap. <laughs> believe it or not. This is what I said was a bad idea. That's why. Yeah. So we had the Easy Rider bikes running a, a few seconds ago, guys and gals. I heard that. Now it's uh, trying to be uh, cantankerous with it, but... two or three vehicles. So uh, killer history, killer everything. Let's look at the Zimmer. Shop truck still poking along at $200, $200 bid increments. And uh, my phone is blowing up. I can't even, I can't. My name is Brad. I just bought the Holly Chopper. Uh, Daphne. We, we please come get the Okay, I'll bring it to you, don't worry. Has the Zimmer moved? Okay. Uh, the Zimmer uh, has yeah. up to 21 grand. We're getting there, guys. You're getting a brand new car that was, uh, well, it was just different, you know? Um, come through here. Guys. Easy Riders. Guys, beautiful bike coming up right after the uh, 52. Look at this. Outlaw Chopper's tacking away at 200. $100 bump. $100? I didn't even know they took that. Oh! For $21,250. Whatever. They're $250. Right now you gotta go to $250. Okay. Okay, $250, $100. I don't know. Yeah, they're, it's a, once you get to 10 grand, you gotta go to 250. All right, I can get back up here now on my, on my perch. Zimmer is back up two minutes at 22,000 now. I'm still on 22,000 on the Zimmer. I'm in pins and needles with the truck. The, the truck is uh, got two guys battling it out at 100 bucks a piece. Well, it's got a bump to 200. 250 now. now. Well, I hope one of them wins soon. They're, they're getting serious now. Get it? This has been the longest one so far. And again. Expect a call in just a second from Daffy. It's gonna end by 20 grand. It's 22. All right, Zimmer, 23,000 bucks. <laughs> Is there any commentary going on over there? Is anybody watching? What are they bitching about? Let's get some bitching on here. I'll tell them what's up. I like bitching. What happened to the Black Mustang? That's a good one. You want to like give a recap of what happened? Uh, the Mustang. Black Mustang, uh, K-Code sold for 75,000 bucks. That guy got a steal. Absolutely stole it. 
and uh, what have you. We're going to be recouping. All, uh, yeah. We're going to be recapping all this here in a little bit. But uh, just show your hand. Okay. What? At this point, uh, I'm not sure. He'd have to go look at the. Uh, if it's not pictured, then we don't have it, Trail Boss. And uh, 54 seconds on the Zimmer, and uh, 50 seconds on the shop truck. Wow, we were moving along so fast, and we just came to a screeching halt. I like the guy who uh, painted the truck. Zimmer? Oh, the truck. Oh, stretch. not going up. They're waiting the last second. What's going on with the uh, 50 coupe? How far away are we? Um, I have to bring it on that one. Uh, eight minutes. Okay, we got some time then. Easy Riders at three minutes is at 25.5. All right, 25.5 on the Easy Riders bike at three minutes. You saw us pull it up here and started a second ago. Uh, it is kick and electric start. Um, it's uh, it's a really cool bike. It is suicide shift, but it can easily be uh, changed over to a clutch uh, shift uh, setup if you wanted to. Wouldn't even cost, it'd cost you one of those little pulley things. So, uh, you know, there you go. 26,000. You're buying history there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, whoever owns the Easy Riders brand right now is trying to buy it themselves. Um, we're at 11,500 over here with the shop truck and 23.5, one minute to left on the uh, Zimmer. Give me some of these uh, junk talkers. What's up? Oh, no. Okay, well then tell them let's have some fun. Ask them some real questions. Ah. Uh, well, that's the one thing I like about Bat also. They do a good job of policing the comments and making sure it's not just flat out negativity for the fact for the for the just the fact of being negative and it's not uh, you know inciting a riot or, or what have you. Very educated people. I've learned a ton about different vehicles watching Bat over the years and just reading the comments because no matter what kind of cars up there there's a lot of people that know a lot about them and uh, the comments uh, section is one of my favorite things about Brad. Well, let's hope that that one takes the most time versus the shop truck. 15 seconds on the shop truck. 15 seconds it looks like Outlaw Choppers is gonna get it. I hope he does. It needs to sell. It's been up there. I've aged since then. <laughs> there we go. Outlaw Choppers. Good job, my man. And we're on the Zimmer at 144. And uh, what's coming up next? Next to be the Easy Riders Chopper. You guys got to get down on this because that is so cheap for that. And uh, it's a killer riding bike. It's it's just it's done right. I mean, you can look back through its history and see that you know some of the best in the business worked on it and have owned it. And uh, it's time to see that go to a new home. Twenty four thousand on the Zimmer. What? Oh, Richard, you're gonna like, tell everybody what you paid for these after the fact, or after yeah, we're gonna recap it after I have yeah. a chance to sit down and do the math, and we're gonna show. This is where we have to insert Daft down what the real numbers were. Yeah, we can't do Peterson math on this. Yeah. It's gotta be real. Correct. So, uh, Millennial team, it's doing good. Look at, look at uh, Steve Gormley over here trying to look over the shoulder. You know you want that. I'd love to have that. Well, why don't you buy it? There's like three people in the you room. You can bid works. right now on your phone. You said family and friends. You're, you work here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 24,000 in a minute Your left. 34,500 in a minute oh. left on the uh, Easy Riders Chopper. Guys, I'm telling you, That's a that season. is too cheap. It is, it is a killer buy. Rick, you want to go talk about yeah, get, get, that's what you need. Rig You're too short on the time frame right now. Yeah. Holy crap! That's true. Twenty-nine minutes, seconds. Wow! I have not eaten enough today. And the lights. All right, whoever's bidding on the Easy Rider needs to step up. Car poor on the Zimmer. All right, here we go. All right, Rick. 
Rick, we got two minutes for you to talk about it. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sold for twenty-four thousand. We're up to thirty-five grand on an Easy Rider bike with a minute and a half left. Guys, you couldn't build this bike. Rick's Fairless is standing right here. He, he wouldn't build you that bike for less than one hundred and fifty. I mean, this bike is killer. And uh, we got a few minutes left on the uh, Ford Business Coupe little uh, resto mod. Rick, what do you think about the price of the Easy Rider bike? It's too cheap. That's way too cheap. Well, that actually that bike is a hundred thousand dollar motorcycle. Yes, all day long. And yeah. that's not counting the history of it. I mean, that is one of the most famous motorcycles in the country, right there. It really is. It is, and I owned it for twenty five years. And I've had about what four or five. Yeah. No, it's a it's an unbelievable motorcycle, and somebody's making a smoking deal. I gave you a lot more than that for it. You did. <laughs> you did. You, you did. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is the things that I put myself into. Let's sell 28 vehicles at no reserve and see what happens. Holy cow. Well, you've heard it start. You've seen me drive it. You know it's good to go. Not a scratch on it. It's a killer bike, guys. So let's get it. Who's on it? Uh, Atomic, 11. Atomic 11 is on it. Then we've got uh, our little custom coupe over here fixing to reach two minutes. 37,169 by Alki Banshee. Get it! Woo! That sounds, sounds crazy. Do we know him? That one belongs to me. What? Alki Banshee. Oh, you know him? He's mine. He oh. belongs to me. He belongs to you, like you own him? Oh, we got a bid going on in the house on that bike. Wow. Bidding on the phone. Somebody finally threw a 69 on instead of triple sixes. Hey, stop it. They don't even like to talk about it. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, one minute left. Got one minute. The little Ford Coupe, she's like ticking along. The little Ford Coupe, guys. About one minute left on the little Ford coupe. That's a lot like your dad's coupe. Except your dad's yeah. coupe is freezing. Yeah, hey, that's a nice car. Huh? So can I get car. dad's car from you ever, or do I have to buy this car? You might as well buy that one because yeah. the dad's car belongs to me. Uh, does it really? No, just because you're in the building. It would be hard to get it out of that one. <laughs> so uh, anybody got questions, comments, anything? <laughs> Uh, actually, guys, this is a this is a really nice car too. AC blows cold, uh, power steering, automatic. Uh, rack super, opinion. Super nice. That's rack opinion. And yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, Mustang two front end. Yeah, it's got that like a fat man front chest. All right, power Atomic Eleven's got thirty seconds to hang in there. Somebody needs to drop that bid at like forty five thousand. You want to hit? I don't know. 16750, we got 10 seconds left on the Ford. That is a steal, guys, if you just wanted a cool hot rod for the weekend. That really is. Um, so uh, there you go, that one's gonna end. 16750 on the coupe, guys, put it on the board. Easy Riders is still hanging in here. Alki Banshee is back in against Atomic. Let's see what happens. Here we have a really neat little Mustang coming up in a few minutes. Uh, really original car, never been restored. I uh, bought it from uh, single family ownership. Uh, pay attention to all the pictures because it's not restored. You can drive this car, have some fun, and it's a 68 convertible. Uh, you know, what's not to love? I've got two of them in the shop right now. You want me to check this? Okay. I'm getting notes. I got producers over here. I got field people. I got millennials. I got these guys. I don't even know what they do. What about the boomers? You got some boomers in there too. We got some boomers. I'm a boomer, aren't I? I don't even know. You're a boomer. No, you're not a boomer. I was born in 69. What does that make me besides cool? No, you're not a boomer. Gen X or whatever, Gen Z. I can't keep up with all of it. We're down to under a minute. Atomic 11 is in there. He's playing to win. 68 Mustang is down to three minutes, playing to win at 26.8. Guys, I can't thank you enough. This has been kind of fun. As you can tell, I'm getting tired. I bet you there's some comments that Richard's looking more out. I'm freaking, wow, this was a lot harder than I think. Um, you know, so pretty exciting. 30 seconds left. Where is the alchemy dude? What's going on? Why isn't he bidding? Alchemy. All right. 
22 seconds. Oh, that's crazy ass thing. You're, you're still under the money. 17, 16, two minutes. Oh, why do you have to wait till the very end to hit it one more time? Oh, oh. Thank you man. for the 669. All right, I'm gonna check on the other ones, guys. We got two minutes, two minutes and 40 seconds on this Mustang. That Mustang's cool. Hey, we've got a lot of calls on the 66 Bear Lane. Just a really just cool little car. Uh, real, real nice original car on the inside and in the engine compartment. Look at Atomic 11, he ain't playing. Just go, just hit him at 50 grand. Pull the door open to see if that is what we're talking about. Five fours. You know what Atomic 11 just said? Yahtzee. Five fours. We're moving. <laughs> so, uh, it's a cool little Mustang for 26 grand. You're going to be happy with that. Um, Easy Rider Fairlane and the 68 Mustang. Then we're down to four, guys. This has been uh, pretty crazy, pretty fast. Um, anybody got any questions on anything coming up? Oh, I wish I could pan the camera over here. The, the millennials are stuffing their face with pizza. Are you even looking at the comments? Are you? Okay. I'm reading them. Okay, yeah, I get it. With his greasy fingers. No, with only one hand. <laughs> <laughs> one minute, 32 seconds on there. 444 on the uh, Atomic 11. I love you, man. Uh, where's the alchemy guy? He knows it's in the room and it's in the good money. We don't know where it goes again. All you got to do is pull out your little phone, tap that thing, say, yep. Mm -hmm. All these big. <laughs> what? All these beaming are driving me crazy. Some, somebody hit something. CDG, good luck. 20 seconds on Easy Rider. 20 seconds. We're getting down to the wire. Four, 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 four by Atomic Where's 11. Four, 49 seconds six, on the Mustang. <laughs> We're going to try to slip in there. We're still under. Oh, I thought that was deep in this come one. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Looks like that's going to Atomic 11. Thank you, man. Super cool bike. I paid more money than that, and uh, I think you're going to be really, really happy. Uh, we're on the Mustang now. Let's switch that and get the next one up. Uh, we've got 19 seconds. It's a 26868. And uh, pretty cool little car. Um, you know, like I said, one family owned, just all original. Uh, you just kind of drive it and have fun. Uh, seven seconds, eight seconds. Did we just do it? No, that's something else. And the Fairlane's coming up after that. Boom. All right, all right, all right. Hey, someone asked how much did the chopper bring in? Uh, the chopper, uh, four e four thousand four hundred and forty four dollars, and we just sold the Mustang for two six eight six eight. Uh, I think you're going to be happy with that. It's a really uh, just original, nice car that hasn't been messed with. Uh, so get after that. Um, the sixty six Fairlane's up. Get that on the top, and then we've got the thirty six Roadster. What I think is just unbelievably awesome. Um, it's. Uh, you know, if you were watching the past couple of big auctions, that's that's pretty cheap for a 36 Roadster. So let's see what happens there. We got four minutes and nine minutes. Do we have anything sneaking up on us? Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, we got about, we got nine minutes on the tan Roadster. Do you want to talk about the foundation and the charity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, coming up at the end, guys, is the uh, uh, Gas Monkey experience here at uh, Gas Monkey Garage come here party with me and chase the guys have some fun uh we'll we'll bring in some beer if you're old enough ha and uh some food be a monkey for the day hang out it's all for a good cause uh it's all going to gas monkey foundation 100 percent of it um you know a lot of people have foundations and things like that i will put my books to the test i've never even costed it a paper clip so it it 100 goes where it needs to go and uh so let's have some fun with that it's up to 7200 bucks i've sold that package at charity for or upwards of 30 grand so uh let's see what happens with that uh let's get back to what we got going on eight minutes three minutes i'm taking a break for a second tony take it away <laughs>
So what do we have? We have our 66 Ford Fairlane, the hard top. We're at 20,500, three minutes to go there. This over here, this 36 Ford, uh, this Rumble Seat Roadster, that is a steal there. That car is probably worth twice that. If somebody's gonna sneak up on that and get one hell of a deal on that. We got seven minutes and a half left on that. Let's see what's going on with the Ford Fairlane over here. Two and a half minutes, we're at 20,500. That's a really neat car. That's a 390. Uh, the guy that built that car, it's an older gentleman. He built a few of the cars that you see here, the little shoe box. Um, this guy did really well. Uh, he did really good work with these things. He, he enjoyed the cars, uh, made them his own. And uh, he's, he's owned these cars for a long time. He got there in age and unfortunately he couldn't drive them much anymore. And he decided it was time for those to go to a new owner. And we were fortunate enough to have him give us a call where we went in and uh, uh, bought a couple of his cars that were nicer ones so uh, looking good here though that car is probably five grand if not ten short of where it needs to be I think that's probably a twenty five or thirty thousand dollar car I know you couldn't bill that for that um, and you know that's something that you don't oversell it Tony <laughs> this ain't Lancaster don't oversell them. well you know you gotta uh, accentuate the positive here you know Tony, been selling cars longer than I've been alive. That, no, I've been selling longer than you've been selling. Not, not longer than you've been alive. Pretty close. I wasn't selling cars when I was seven years old. Well, I don't I was, know. I was selling bicycles. What are you, 105 right now, right? I was selling, I was selling Hot Wheels. I used to buy and sell and trade those things. See, I was buying them back then. I wasn't selling stuff. So we had a lot of questions on this little uh, Fairlane. Uh, super neat car, guys. Look at the pictures. Look at the inside. Inside is 100% original. I mean, it's just really cool. Uh, again, I had a few cars in here that I kept in here in, in case somebody came through and wanted to buy something and wanted to get into the hobby at, a, a, you know, a, a, an economical way to get into it. And, you know, nowadays, if you can get in something for 20 to 35,000 bucks, that's pretty economical to go have some fun and what have you. Plus, this is something you can fix at your uh, local advanced auto parts store. Shameless plug. Not really. Uh, I don't work for them anymore. So O'Reilly's, call me, uh, AutoZone, call me. You know. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're uh, stacking them deep and selling them cheap, aren't we, Tony? We are. Round, what? round, loop 12. Remember that guy? I do remember that guy. <laughs> I forgot about him, but I just now brought him back. What about Westway Ford dude that used to be here? You're dressed up in a money suit and the big glasses. What, his Burton, Bert, what was his name? Burton Hanks? He was the guy from uh, Blazing Saddles. Really? He, he was a guy that, that was the same guy, Burton Hanks, I think. That may be wrong on that. But you're right. I mean, these are great cars for the money. You get in these right. And there's one thing I did learn. All right. We just sold that one at 20500 to Steve S. Hey, hey, don't break it, Millennial, sir. Um, all right. Now we're on the 36 Ford. And we've got the, uh, where's the 300 and the 59? Guys. Right Bert Gilliam. Where are they? That's got 19 minutes. Okay. You have them out of order on here is why. Yeah. Okay. All right, you had him out of, or, out of order on my board. Tony, it's Burt Gilliam. Burt Gilliam, Gilliam, yeah, that was some, okay. I know it was Burt something in there. So the 300Z that's coming up, guys, is basically as original low mile survivor as they come. It is really clean, really nice, and uh, it's right now being valued way under the money. Uh, the 59 Vet here, um, again, I don't say this very often, but that you could jump in and drive home. Uh, I bought it here local, it had been in a garage forever. You know, clean the gas tank, fuel lines, put in all the rubber lines that it needed, did the brakes. Um, it's crusty, it's wacky looking, it's never been restored. Uh, but that's what I like about it. You can just hop in it and go anywhere. You know, somebody gets in your way, just jump the curb and go around them. I mean, <laughs> that's what's really cool about an original car that you can just have a little bit of fun with. And uh, for those of you uh, Corvette aficionados, I just want to tell you that that body is 100% rust free. Go ahead, check it. It's bought brand new by the original owner too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're jumping up on uh, 
38750 on the 36 model 68 Roadster. Super nice car, really good sheet metal all the way around. Uh, I mean, just super sexy. Don't you don't have anything to worry about there, and uh, you know so. And it's a true roadster, not a cabriolet. Um, and uh, I believe so that one got the rumble seat. Tub? That's a rumble. Yeah, seat. It's yeah, it's got the yeah, rumble seat. So uh, do what I do, you know, take it out to the lake with your lady, have a little picnic, a little skinny dipping stuff like that. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> hey, uh, beer assistant. Hey, you're my wife. You don't have to get me beers. I got plenty of people around here to do it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> that Corvette should go for more than that. What? That Corvette should go for more than that, shouldn't it? That Corvette should bring more money. Um, but, you know, uh, the 62 brought 60 grand, so we'll see. Seen in person is a different story. It's, it's just awesome. cool. Uh, cool. Now, the Mustang that's coming out in 12 minutes, guys, pay attention to that. Uh, I bought it from the original owner, uh, son. He bought it brand new with his high school graduation money in Southern California. It is nice. Not restored. Oh, thank you, dear. Excellent. <laughs> I need to drink faster so I can get her to come over here more often. Get on that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> One minute, 54 seconds for 39.750 on this. I, I can't. Last two minutes on that. The 59 Corvette, we bought that from a gentleman uh, local here. He bought that car when he got out of uh, Vietnam in 1969. So the, that 59 Corvette sat in the guy's uh, garage there for, what is that, 40 years? Well, we got it, the 59 Corvette. We bought that here in Texas. And uh, the guy bought that when he got out Cat, of you want to go check on Daphne? Okay. So that car, that one we got really right, driving, but it looks just the way we got it, when we, uh, the way we did. This 36, yeah, it's perfect. You, you can take off in it and have fun. You yeah, know, it was going that low. We never seen, have you seen that low in auctions? From the last two auctions that I've watched, they, they, uh, that's a little low uh, for a real cab. But uh, what are you going to do? Our real roadster, sorry. Golly. It really is hard to keep all this stuff straight. Maybe that's why the real auctioneers just mow blah, 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 cab right there, the roadster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beers, 19 seconds, <laughs> 39.750. We got the vet coming up in about five minutes. And uh, we're gonna get a last minute bet. Come on. That's about 10 grand short of where that car should have brought. That should have been a $50,000 car. But as it is, no reason. Boom! 39.750. Retold cars with two E's. Get it retold. All right, good job. Thank you guys. And uh, here we go on the vet. Four minutes left, and after the vet is the last car. It'll be the six. What? Second last car. You got. You have. Oh, you have these out of order, son. Okay. Um, okay. So where's the 300 at? How many minutes? 14. Okay, we're good. So uh, let's talk about the uh, the uh, Mustang here moving into four minutes at 42 grand. I'm telling you, it's just cool. Uh, it's set up, it's just spectacular. I can't say enough good stuff about it. So I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, try to catch my breath. Well, I'm gonna say something about that Mustang. This Mustang, Richard called me one day and said, I need you to pick this car up. And I said, okay. I picked that car up and I called him and said, this is the most beautiful car I've ever seen. And there it is. He's pointing the Mustang. Oh, I thought you were talking about He's talking about the Mustang. No, I'm sitting out to Southern California to get it. Uh, a young a young guy called me and said that... Uh, just because the Californians are moving to Austin doesn't mean that it was in Austin. Uh, well, he had moved. His dad was in Southern California, so, and he lived in Austin and got the car correct. delivered. Uh, his dad bought it new with high school graduation yeah. money, and uh, it went to him. And I tried to talk him out of selling it. I said... He literally did. The car You don't want to sell me this car. I said, put it in storage for a couple of years. You know, you're not into it right now. And I tried to talk him out of it. Uh, super nice guy, but he was like, no, you know, I think he wanted to start a business, if I don't remember right, or do something with the money. And I said, let me put it in storage. I said, just put it in my shop. It can be yours, but you're going to want this car at a later date. I mean, for, for your dad to have bought it brand new when he was, you know, graduating high school and then kept it in pristine condition his whole life. The car's never been torn apart in a store. No, I know. It's just nice. Well, in Southern California, so zero rust. You can take out. that apart with a, a craftsman tool. Pulled it out, drove it out 
after they put fresh gas, tuned it up, this car drives like a freaking dream. Uh, so there you go. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. That is the story. 42,250 on the vet. Wow. Terrigal, yeah, step back up oh, to 43 go. now. Right? Where? In the Corvette. On our Corvette. Oh, so we got oh, Tiny House Man, <laughs> Terrigal 33. They want the car. Some of the, nine, some of the names do crack me up. I just go with the old Gas Monkey or Richard. I kind of like it based on the pictures. I mean, you're going to love it if you see it in person. That's what I do. No, that's exactly the way we <laughs> found it. That guy bought it in 1969 when he got home from Vietnam and kept it in his garage here in North Texas. I told you he's on repeat. Somebody bump the CD player. <laughs> <laughs> so in the two-minute mark on the uh, Corvette, if you've been hanging here the whole time, I highly suggest that you take this opportunity to go get yourself a couple of cold beers. Um, I want to know who drank the most beers during uh, this uh, live stream. Not the people that work for me. I only had four. So I'm talking about, I'm asking everybody out there, is there anybody that had a six-pack? I don't know. So, uh, no one's responding to well, I didn't know we could drink beer. You can't at work. I'm not working. You've been drinking beer the whole time, dude. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shotgun oh, vodka. We like, we like that eight -pack. Drinking beer out of a coffee cup. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I have a lot of friends over here on this side and a few more over on the other side. But when the camera comes out, they just like scatter. It's like cockroaches when you turn the light on. 43.5, two minutes left. Yeah, on reset. the 60, on the 59 Corvette. 59, that's, uh, so we got Terragal. Terragal? Terragal. Well, so they're on number eight, what? They're on number eight. All right, well, I will catch them as soon as we're done with this, I promise you. Well, this has, has been, this has been a heck of an experience. It's been really cool, but it's been a month long of trying to get ready, trying to get it all done. It's been pretty wild. Don't the camera hit 10 pounds? Yeah, I think, we ought to, I think we ought to try this again, like maybe once every six months. Curate a collection. Let people see us go get them, talk about them, drive them. I'm sure your staff would love that. <laughs> and Tiny House Man is back in the race with 43,750. He's for reals. He's serious about it. Well, he ain't spending any money on houses. Tiny House Man. <laughs> He's not got a large house payment. Can you put a car in a, a tiny house? <laughs> yeah. Nothing else, right? Well, he's doing tiny bins. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. like some short. Is that a tiny garage? Because you build like you know, houses, but you're a little bit tiny. I don't build tiny houses. But oh, it has to be a tiny house. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you guys want tiny houses. <laughs> tiny racer. <laughs> Chris, how are we doing on the Z? 300 Z. It's coming. That's a 300 Z. All right, guys and gals, whoever. <laughs> paying attention to the 300z is way below the money 32 grand with 10 minutes left to go um absolutely original very very good car and like i said a minute ago go into bat and look at the past auctions and see what they're selling for this one's well under the money so get after it someone said doing doing a block hit every time richard touches it someone said don't say that Alan. okay Mustang still steal. He says he does it every episode. <laughs> every time he what? Every time he says what? He says every time, he moves, every time you touch your hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so every time you rub your hair, somebody donates a dollar? <laughs> Interesting. I think some guy said he was slamming a hit every time that uh, I touched my hair. We did have a dream game. You have, you have a bunny some Go on the 59 vet. And and uh, the 66 Mustang's right on the heels of that, and so is the 300Z. Eight seconds. Whoa! Terrigal moved in. Terrigal 33. Terrigal's back on top. Yeah, that's the button. Hey, man, I'd have to ask my wife. The tiny house, man. I'll take that first. <laughs> Y'all better watch what you say. You're on live TV. I said, Terry, you thought you were Stevie G. Oh, yeah, man, it's a big house for him. What are you talking about? No, they can't. Hey, I'll see them. I'll pour them. Look at the size of these doors. Okay, so we just jumped up to 44,000 nice. on uh, that. We're at 25.6 again over here on the uh, Mustang. 
And you could do a you could do a preacher giveaway for the people who are watching if they answer a question, right? Uh, giveaway in tomorrow, Richard. Oh yeah, so for everybody that's not getting a car today uh, or didn't win your auction, gasmonkeygarage.com or right here on Merrill Road. Tomorrow is the last day of our ga gas monkey giveaway number four, uh, where we're giving away uh, the Thomas Crown Affair Mustang, 100% uh, new, ready to rock, uh, four performance motor, pushing about probably 400 horse, six speed, uh, manual transmission, nine inch rear end, four wheel disc brakes. Uh, super cool, you've seen it. I've had mine for a long time. Got talked into building a new one and uh, it's up for grabs. So, you know, last time we gave away 200 grand and the guy bought a koozie, all right? So uh, get yourself a shirt, get yourself a koozie, what have you. It ends tomorrow, it's 10 times entries and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff in there that I can't remember, but uh, we had a few minutes to kill here, so I thought I'd talk about it. Uh, let's go with this Nissan 300ZX, if you're watching that, guys. Um, that's way under the money. It's uh, super low mileage. Probably the best one original that's in existence. Uh, if you're paying attention and uh, you like these cars, uh, that is a deal right there. We're at uh, 25,950 on the white Mustang and uh, 44,250 on the uh corvette and that's going to be our three last cars everybody i got them all on screen right here uh and we're going to be done in about uh six minutes except for the gas monkey foundation uh celebrity uh hangout with uh the gang type thing that's uh, all going to uh, gas monkey foundation and uh you know so the person this, that does the 12 packs during this needs to get that because he'll party with us with what the gas breaking foundation he will party with us oh it's a good time when you do that because the cameras aren't rolling yeah. and we we get a little rowdy up here when uh when all this stuff's not going on it's a lot of fun you sometimes have a second glass of wine after dinner <laughs> <laughs> 44 500 26 2 34 000 on the z guys i'm telling you hey chris what's that z supposed to bring i didn't even see the sheet the end of the alphabet? It's way out of it. 100. It's actually, uh, what's the Z's, where's, where's it supposed to be? Huh? Okay, so we're only two thirds there. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, car's sick. And uh, I remember uh, when that car came out, I, uh, was a was a policeman i used to pull people over driving cars like that because i couldn't afford one because i was a policeman but uh <laughs> i remember when those came out they were they were almost 300 horsepower cars and there weren't a whole lot of cars out there that, that were really no not in the not in the late 80s and 90s there were not very many 300 horsepower there cars was a lot of 175 horsepower cars and that came out at 300 it was it that was it that was it. So uh, 54 seconds left to go on the vet, guys and gals. Um, wow. I can't tell you. It's a little bit hard. I don't know. We're going to have to. Has anybody started adding up all these figures? Yeah, you want to know? Not until the end. I don't think he wants to. 41, 203. No, it's more than that. No, it's not. So we added all the numbers up. It's not worth And every time the car goes out, I add it. Number, please. Say what? So we need to get some 20 seconds left. No, you have to take the suit wrap. Oh, that is a good No, that is, that is not. Uh, okay. We'll talk we'll about that later. Don't worry about it. No, don't, don't talk about that. All right, seconds. so. 10 seconds where? On the Corvette. Uh, oh, we, no, we just got 44, 750. Yeah. We're down to 10 seconds on, on the Mustang. Mustang. That Mustang yeah, is worth more than that. It is worth more than that. I mean, whoever gets that's going to be super, super stoked with that one. Does it have a name? A lot of fun. Yeah, it's called Mustang. It's called the California Mustang. Yeah. It's called Sally. So the Mustang went away at 26,750, wow. I believe. Ride. Goodbye. Super cool ride there. Uh, we got a minute 33 seconds. What happened? Putting up the charity. Okay. So we're nearing the end, guys and gals. We've got about three minutes, and then we'll do the charity auction, uh, which uh, 
you know, it's 100% going to uh, those in need. This uh, guy here says we'll be over a million when the Corvette sells. Less than dollars than cents says we'll be over one million when the Corvette sells. Is that right? Hold, hold on, I'm turning over. Less than less dollars than cents. That's his name. So he said we'll be car over car one million. Car car which Corvette sell? I don't know. I I'm not added them up yet. All right, I think someone said one point oh seven. One point over. So, I guess I'll quit leaving the door. At Forty open. down to forty-five <laughs> seconds. On the Corvette, the fifty-nine Corvette. Forty, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. That's a really nice driving car, whoever's listening. What'd you say? And that really car will go nice. straight. Whoever bought that chassis, that's what we originally bought that car for, wasn't it? No, it was yeah, it, was it, fits, chassis. No, it fits 58 to 62. Yeah, it'll fit any, any of the uh, C2s. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Here we go. Nine seconds on the vet. I'm loving that. Minute 45 seconds on the uh, Nissan. Oh, oh it's not 45. Back to there. Ergle. So now we want to watch the Nissan because that's what's going on now. Check this out. You guys and gals, if you know these cars, that's way under the money. $35,000. That's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap on any level. Wow. I got a millennial uh, yawning over here. One yawning over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But, but no, no, no. I think that's what the car was hey, used. That's what sticker is. Right? What? Oh, there, that car. Hey. Oh, I know. Maybe. Don't I know. 35? Oh, right. What? That car. How much was that new? No, it wasn't anywhere near that. 21, 25. Yeah. yeah. How about my M? It was 30 something. I saw you coming. It was about what it's on the real Yeah. <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> the M3 was 333 horsepower. They came out and they were about the same money, but they were no. They were under thirty. I just had no reason. You can always tell the ones that were manuals. Woo! Okay. Those were all. Beer assistant. We're in the last few minutes. Y'all keep bidding because I got to go back to work when this is over. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Same. Yeah. I do need a beer, Phipps. And I will tell everyone out there that you're the ugliest beer assistant I have in the building. He's a beer fairy. Oh, somebody called you a beer fairy, Phipps. It's because he shook your beer earlier. Can we thank our moderators in the chat? E30s don't run and Dustin Beeson. Okay, Dustin Beeson. Dustin Beeson. Yep, Dustin Beeson and E30. B30s don't run. And B30s don't run. I want to appreciate you guys in chat uh, moderating and helping us stay up with it. I want to thank Big Chris in the other room. He has been getting pounded with questions and comments, and he's staying up on top of it. Uh, I watch a lot of these uh, uh, bat auctions. I'm involved in a lot of them. Hey. Forty-five thousand two hundred and fifty on the uh, Corvette. Uh, the Nissan just moved up to thirty-seven thousand, and the Mustang did it sell? Mustang sold. Yeah. So we've got uh, about seventeen seconds, guys. This is way low. That's cheap. Way low. Way low. Way low. So hey, did, you, uh, did you mention you had all the bells? There you go. Somebody's paying attention. You you had all, yeah, all the uh, make sure you look in there, guys. We had some pictures later in the auction uh, where the car was service, injectors, belts, you name it. Uh, the receipt and all the parts are listed in there. Car's literally ready to go. Um, I'd like to see it bring more money, uh, and I think it's worth uh, a good chunk of change more than, than it's bringing. Uh, my phone's blowing up. Um, <laughs> And uh, we'll see what's happening here. There we go. Somebody's paying attention to something. Oh, it's the charity auction, $7,400. You're gonna get to come here and party with me. We, we'll even party with Phipps a little bit, Tony, uh, Chase, the rest of the team. Daphne will be here, have some food, be a monkey for the day, um, you know, talk about cars, see cars, see what's left in the collection. They get free shirt. 
Oh, fair. I guess we're getting your free shirts now because yeah. Pip said so. Wow. But uh, yeah, we're going to load you up with some swag and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's it's a good time. I've done it uh, about five or six times now. And uh, we're pretty stoked. Okay, so now the Nissan's moving a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get it on up there closer to where it needs to be, which is probably 50, 55 grand. Uh, we're at 75 grand on the uh, no reserve. And, uh, that's a 7,500. Woo, this is hard. Uh, on the Gas Monkey uh, experience. Uh, this is my friend, Jick. I'm just gonna put him on there. Hey, hey you, you already missed the whole thing. Uh, is there anything to be coming now? Yeah, you can come up here. Everybody's up here. <laughs> Some, totally missed it. That's, that's one of my best friends, Jick. He is late to everything we do. It, we set dinners at eight o'clock, uh, you know, with the wives and stuff, and he would show up around 10. Uh, and, and I told him this started at 12 today. He's, he's asking now if he should come up. Uh, anyway, so um, here we are. Um, one minute on the Nissan, it's still under the money, guys. Uh, 8,000 on the uh, Gas Monkey Experience. Uh, I'm telling you, we'll have some fun and uh, it's a good time. So, and Mike Jones is just in the house. He's another one of my good friends that's always late. Come say hi, Mike Jones. So if it's not readily apparent, guys, we are gonna have some beers and have some fun here in a minute when we get done with this. I wanna thank everybody out there in the back community. I wanna thank Randy and uh, Beck, especially at, uh, at uh, BAT. Uh, this has been a hell of an experience. We're, we're changing the way cars are auctioned. If you have a collection or a single car, this is the way to do it. Take the pictures, do the stuff at your house, keep your car around. When it sells, you get to meet somebody that knows what they're doing, knows what they were buying, and uh, they, they come and collect the car, you send it to them. It's just a very, very good transactional process. I've been doing this since they invented selling on the internet, and I can't uh, tell you that this is it. And Tally uh, here in a couple of days and show you what's going on. go there or anything else so probably saved you know well over 200 grand on this sorry for the confusion a minute ago but i'm trying to watch both of these and shut fits up at the same time <laughs> uh, 42,000. somebody's percent of proceeds or 100 percent of some imaginary figure 100 percent of it any comments anybody saying final farewells anything just yeah, loving it. Died. How many uh, watchers it, hanging it, in there for the end? 2.5. 2.5! Thanks a lot, guys. Again, more than cable. Oh, man. So, uh, let's see. We're just tacking along. 42. <laughs> 43 could be the next bid. Hmm. What car are you most surprised about? today i'm most surprised about the king t going for that little bit of money uh, it should have brought a whole lot more money yeah i mean a whole lot um, history? Sure. the easy rider bike is up there too by far oh. yeah that bike should have brought more money and uh you know so there you go guys we're moving in our 44 seconds on the nissan uh i don't know what to do next time we need to make it faster together so we can move uh 8600 on the charity think uh who's bidding on that tell me who's bidding on that um you know we're, we're very happy uh that you're uh, interested in coming here and hanging out with us and uh we're doing good deeds with that money uh okay and uh we we appreciate it uh latana and uh 19 sec oh 43,000 on the nissan guys i think that car should be closer to 50 55 grand i really do charity's going away oh big yeah another bid on the charity farmer pete thanks farmer pete is he pete farmer Tell me to Daphne about numbers? No. No. Wait until she comes out here. Whoa. Oh. She was not happy when she did. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's always happy. Right on. Are you seeing anything? Anybody I need to comment to? Anybody we need to say anything about? We we think bat. We think all the bat people. What do they call them? Batsters? Yeah. Hey, the, the, the guys that came out. The batsters. <laughs> the guys that came out and took all the pictures. Wow. Remember the, what the? I forget their name. Oh, oh man, yeah. they, they sweated yeah. their butt off. Yeah. You know, make sure you give us some comments and see how you think this went and if In we should do it again. Uh, maybe no, we make this an annual event or no. what have you. Uh, also, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I know that uh, no, I think not. it's this coming weekend is no, uh, the bat uh, gathering no. at the shop oh. over in uh, uh, Dallas there. Pretty cool place. I've been there a lot. Uh, Latana, thank you very much. And 52 seconds on the uh, Nissan 300Z twin turbo. 44. Get you some of that, now we're at 44. Come on guys, quit making such small increments. Just jump on up to 50, 55 where it needs to be. Take out everybody else and be done. See, that's what I'm talking about. through 500 <laughs> Thank Rick and them for coming by. Yeah. Go. So got a lot of friends that came by today. They were some were camera shy. You can probably hear them over there. Uh, everything was good. Rick and uh, uh, Lana, his daughter, came by uh, from Strokers. If you're in Dallas, you're coming to Gas Monkey. You might as well go by there. And uh, you know, just lots of good things happening. A number one air in the house. Forty-five thousand on the Nissan. Please just put the fifty bid on it. <laughs> Let's get this bloodletting over with. We're at 8,900 on the uh, garage experience. I can't thank you guys enough for that. It's really cool. It's something fun I get to do. We get to do some fun and do some good. So, uh, you know, what we always say here at the uh, Gas Monkey Foundation is monkey see, monkey do, uh, as in we do good. Explain again the foundation. I already did. <laughs> I, I mean, they can read it right there. Oh, God, bro. I am oh, worn out. There we go. 9,500 from Farmer Pete. That's the way to do it right there. Yeah. Look at my beautiful wife sitting over there. Already spending the money. She's probably on far fetch <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> oh man. And to believe you got blamed for this. They said that uh, you were the reason that I was having to sell all my cars. Oh damn. I'm rich. Yes, sir. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging in. Uh, <laughs> she could say I'm rich, rich. Yes. <laughs> no, it's really done good. It's really done good. I got Randy on the phone, everybody. Uh, he's watching uh, from the old uh, Bat headquarters, I would assume. Or is that a Bat cave? I don't know. Bat cave. <laughs> Are they Bat crazy? Is that what you call them? Bat no. shit. You call us. Yeah, we've had a lot going on. Uh, I've, I've uh, just, uh, this was a lot harder than I thought. I haven't stood up and done something like this for three hours. Yeah, this was a little bit of uh, winded and it's... 46, I mean, that was a double tap. Are you coming or what? Good deal, thank you, Randy. Y'all have a good one. I'll, I'll give you a holler when it's all over, said and done. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. 37 minutes at $9,600. Yes. Golly! Who's bidding on the Nissan? Step up to 50 and knock everybody out. Okay, good deal. Who was bidding on it before him? Or them? Go back to this other comment. Uh, that would be. I wonder if that's Jeff. That may be Jeff. Oh, oh, oh. That, that is in his alley. All right. That may be Jeff. One minute. That might be Jeff. 9,600 on that, and uh, we are at uh, 47,000 on the Nissan. Woo! I think Randy was calling to check in and see if I was making it here at the end because I uh, misdescribed uh, the fee schedule, and uh, I apologize for that, but it's hot in here with the lights. Want me to talk to God about that? We need all right, guys, we're getting closer on the Nissan. Uh, it is no reserve, so it's going to sell for whatever it brings. We're at about a minute there. We're at 43 seconds on the uh, Gas Monkey Experience. Um, I don't even know. Uh, if you guys got constructive comments and uh, what have you, please let us know. Info at gasmonkeygarage.com. And our uh, fourth giveaway ends tomorrow night. Thomas Crown Affair Mustang. Everything you buy gets you 10 times entries, and uh, there's a few other bonus entries in there, too, so pay attention. And uh, it's been a busy, busy couple of weeks. Oh, and we now we're at 9,800 and now we're at 
47 still with 43 seconds to go on the Nissan. Hey, someone said do a cartwheel and they'll just drag it on the Nissan. No, no. How, I don't even know what a cartwheel looks like anymore. <laughs> it's not pretty. It hasn't changed. You ever kid? Who did that? 48. 48. I, repeat. I could do a cartwheel when I was a kid. <laughs> not on purpose. Yeah, same here. I want to see you do a cartwheel. I did a couple of cartwheels. They had bicycles, go cars, <laughs> uh, mini bikes. So we got an hour and 42, hour and 22, sorry, hour minutes. Minute. <laughs> yeah, that's an hour. He, he's, he's, he, he's not dragging this out, is he? <laughs> we got a day and a half left on this one. Third person is. It's quiet right now. That's going to come in and lower the boom. Well, if it's if it's the Fleming, I know he's that guy. Well, see in there. He's yes. the one that's in there. And he's now, the one that's Fleming. The real that's, guy's not in here. He's like me. The real guy's in the It's like for these two guys to punch each other out, and then he's going to come and get it. Oh, we're now at ten grand on the experience. Come on, Farmer Pete. You Come on, love coming up here. Forty-eight seconds and forty-eight thousand dollars on the Nissan. Fifty grand for the secret to my great hair? No way! I'm not telling you. Okay, I'll tell you. I wash it and I put stuff in it. <laughs> what stuff kind of stuff? It? Yeah, what stuff? Mostly pomade. <laughs> a company out of California called B Y R D Bird. Bird. Bird is the word. Bird is the word. Something Looks like we got forty-eight thousand. Oh, I gave oh. away my hair secrets. Sold. $48,000 are on the Nissan. Excellent. To who? to who? And I can't see it because the millennials are not showing me. Fleming! I'm going to see if it's him. Well, then let's see if it's him. All right, we're near the end, guys. $10,000 on the experience. I, I, I mean, I'm humbled by that. It goes to a lot of good. And uh, I assure you, we will have a good time when you come here. I just got there. And uh, here we go, 30 seconds. We'll uh, stay on for about 20 or so. I'll give them a goodbye when we're done. Uh, Sinjin, Brandon, Austin, and we're getting there. And 16 seconds. Right on. Dude. Oh! And Farmer Pete steps in again. I think. Uh, what do you see there? Right here. Yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, how do we think it went, guys? I think it went well. Was Bring a Trailer happy? Yeah, I think Bring a Trailer happy. people happy? Seems like it. Are you happy? Are you? Yeah. That's the main question. Yes. I'm ready to uh, actually get some food uh, and uh, have a cold beer instead of this lukewarm beers that keep showing up here. All the so, you've been like, getting this like ready for, for like the past couple of years. Like, how does it feel for your collection to finally be gone? You know, uh, it, it, I did save like four or five cars for myself. I have bought a couple of cars in anticipation of uh, getting rid of these cars. So I'm pretty stoked. Uh, um, it's sad to see some go, but uh, I'm also pretty fired up about what I'm going to get to start collecting now. So uh, any teasers on that? Well, uh, could start with a Z. Uh, it could start with an M. Could start with. Yeah, we got some. some, good letter out, some good Can we buy a vowel? <laughs> no. Be too easy then. Be too easy then. Now we're gonna get into some cool stuff. We're gonna get into some eighties uh, uh, and nineties uh, cars that might have three hundred plus horsepower from the factory, and uh, we're gonna get into some sixties uh, and seventies uh, foreign stuff. And uh, I really want to get into some sixties and seventies uh, show car, drag car stuff. I think that'd be really, really cool. Uh, so if you got anything that uh, maybe your grandfather had laying around, it's stuffed in the garage and has all the candy yeah, paint and chrome and side pipes and, and everything, I'd be real interested in looking at some of that stuff. Always interested in looking at 60s and 70s, uh, Porsche, Mercedes, Lamborghini, uh, Ferraris. Uh, always interested in looking at uh, 
uh, anything 80s and 90s with the crazy paint jobs and the weird colors and uh, you know some of the General Motors products that came out with 350s and five speeds even though they only had 300 horsepower maybe um, and uh, you know like I'd love to find a really really good uh, IROC Z uh, super low mileage hard top no T top um, and uh, five speed um, we've got some plans I'm doing some pretty cool builds uh, you guys have been, uh, they've been seeing what we're building right now or not yet? Not yet. Oh, ho, ho. blast from the past is coming. And yes, I'm still working on the bus. Leave me alone on that. It's just taking a while. That's a big freaking monstrosity that's just doing what it does. We're at 10,750. On the Zimmer. Really? And uh, they didn't get the Zimmer. The Zimmer went for 25. I know, they were on the Zimmer. Wow. All right, so here we go. 40 seconds left. I want to thank uh, Latina and Farmer Pete for uh, hanging in there for the Gas Monkey Foundation. Uh, super cool. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, uh, Randy and Beck over at uh, Bring a Trailer, class act, class uh, class A people to work with, the entire team at Bring a Trailer. And uh, this was a massive undertaking for not only their team, but our team. And uh, we're going to be coming back and telling you the tale of the tape here in just a second. Uh, but you're going to have to wait a couple of days for me to get all the math correctly so I can tell you if we uh, finished with a champagne or finished with a beer budget. Or as I said earlier, here we go, 10, 11, 6. Dubby Free! Dubby Free came out of nowhere! Dubby Free. So, I've said it when we started this. I want to know if my beer budget taste turned into champagne dreams. Uh, we've got a lot of money on the wall here, um, and we've got to go back and do the math. Uh, exactly what do I have in them? You know, because some of these cars I bought, plus I shipped them, plus we worked on them, plus everything else. So uh, it's going to take a little bit on that. And uh, Dubby Free, thanks for costing me two more minutes. I'm just kidding. I'll do this all day long. I'll do this all day. I said I was just kidding. I'll do this all day long. Hey, at least there's 70 comments now. What's that comment? Christmas bonus. What's the comment the last person just said? No, this is for charity. This is for charity, Pips. what is the 70th comment? Pips wanted to know if it went towards his bonus. What does it say? Like Tony said, Yeah, you get to put up the Christmas tree this year. Like Tony said, that's two words. 10K three-way at Gas Monkey Garage. Wow. There you go. What? Wow, that's that's brutal. <laughs> oh, 12! <laughs> Latana! Oh. No, there's two more comments. Hey, G Smith tipped us and said, So for that price, price they could have bought oh, either the shop oh, truck or real? the 76 yeah. Jaguar. Hell yeah. That means you're worth more than both those cars. Yeah. <laughs> you are. For what they're bending on it right now, they could For the rich and the of Jaguar. Kids. I don't even know if they're coming here to see me. They're probably coming in here to uh, see Chase and Biffs and Millennials. Free t -shirt. They're not coming to see us. Uh, so what, are you trying to escape out? Is that what you're saying? They're ready to <laughs> so somebody just uh, wrote in and said that the Millennials are doing a great job. I'm going to second that. Great job. Production uh, went off for being our first time doing it this way. Pretty much without a hitch. A couple of missed uh, steps, but not anything that I'm not going to deduct them for. Uh, but, you know, a little bit worse, I'd have probably taken it out of their paychecks. <laughs> just kidding. They don't get paychecks. They get food. <laughs> peanuts. They get peanuts. Richard threatened to take my food away the other day. Go for peanuts. Get afforded. Yeah. 46 seconds. Show this over here. Woo. So there were some good deals today. The uh, 57 F100 was a good deal. Uh, the King T was a massively good deal. Uh, the Keiko was a massively good deal. Uh, the Panhead was a massively good deal. So was the Easy Rider motorcycle. Uh, we had some good deals that went down today. Well, they, um, I can already see a few, uh, quite a few there that I didn't quite make what I had in them. But uh, it's all about uh, trying to make the math work just favorable at the end. And uh, we'll do a little thing I call Peterson math and see if we can't talk Daphne into making her think we've there made it goes. today. Final five. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Damn. 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 W3! <laughs> <laughs> 32 bits. This is amazing, Richard. Oh, goodness. Wait, what, uh, what's that? There was a problem with it? We got to do everything all over? Yeah, right? Everything went, what, uh, <laughs> this is a really good test run, guys. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah this was a good test. Now let's turn the camera. The on. There was a glitch. <laughs> We're supposed to have the cameras on. Mike Jones, are you over there, Billy? <laughs> he would be chubby free. That was Mike John. He would be, he would be chubby free. Are you on the only? I got something to say to you. Anyway. Uh, okay. Do no. 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 you have the numbers I asked for earlier? No. Question mark. He did, he did not. He did not. He did not. He answer the question. Oh. The soft the tana. Go pod. All right, Latana oh. is hanging in there. Oh, oh the another one, double, double time. Double, Dubby Free is like, what? That's we, fine. Dubby Free is like, I done took out Farmer Pete. <laughs> I do need a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll split it with anyone. <laughs> I think that's what they meant by three ways. Yeah. Play the chip. Oh! Okay, that's smart. Look at that. She's not playing or he's not playing. I can't tell by the name. Latana. We don't assume her. Are you going to get a comment on that? Oh, okay. Don't be free. We'll be here until 6 o'clock. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, somebody give me some questions while we're letting uh, Whoa, Tana and Debbie free. Hey, hey, hey. Like, this is live TV. You got two there people was. battling out. There My yard. takes us two people in the room. All it takes is two people to make an auction. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> yeah. This is almost a point where we need to do shots every time they bid. <laughs> I'm with shots. 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 What? Mike Jones is not Who here. Who said shots? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah, yeah. Steve. We need to do a shot. 15 Every five. Time. There can be only one, Odie says. Tequila assistant. Hey, uh, Dubby, Bree, and Latana, tell us a little about yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> So how does that work for a uh, charity? Is that tax deductible or? Mm -hmm. So this, yeah, so all this is tax deductible. Oh, come right? on. Yeah. Just okay, I think it's good. Thank you. This is bad. This is going to keep going. Dude. This is going to getting after it. I will stand here until tomorrow if that's what it takes. We're doing a tunnel. Somebody get that cardboard cut out of me. We're doing a <laughs> So you get the Fonzie one. <laughs> Turn to the Fonzie. Yeah, this is great. This is super cool, guys and gals. This is very hum humbling. Uh, this is gonna do a keep it going. Think of the children. <laughs> Come on, man. We really do do a lot of good. We really do. This is going to do a lot of good. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. This is rad. Hey, there's my friend Jake. You know, just when it's over. Last item. Better late than that. 16,000. Yes, the answer is yes. Yes, that's absolutely, that's what this is for. Literally, literally, it's only to drink beer. You got a snack yes. back in there? Andy, Sisson 21, absolutely we are going to drink beer. As long as you win this and you're old enough to drink, we will have a good time. <laughs> it would be nice to see a bidding battle on the cars versus that. So, wow, pretty good, that's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> of course. What's up, bro? What's up, Jiggy? What's up, brother? Hey, they said throw it in. Throw it in oil change. Oh, it's respectable. It's respectable. All right. We've got uh, one minute coming up here. We've got uh, so this is what he's got pulled in for the time. Duffy Free, uh, Dubby Free, and Leatana fighting it out. Cool. Brutal, it is brutal. I love Cut it. the tension with the knife. I think it's because Phipps is up there. Uh, yeah, Phipps has been over. <laughs> I'm on the clothes. <laughs> 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 oh, this is bad. This yeah, is the best is. part of the whole auction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Another bidder. Wow, that's, that's a guys. new bidder. No, thank no, you. No, it's the same guy. Richard. I can't see around Richard's head. Same guy. W3. <laughs> Oh, 
one's 45. Someone said if they, would, if they won, they'd have to bring yes. along some better beer. Okay. Uh, well, at this price, whoever wins can pick their beer. Bridget. What else can you what else can you throw in for someone if it hits twenty? Really cool. Twenty grand? I'm kinda hope you know, it's weird. Twelve pack Miller Light? That's already implied. This is going to make twenty. Yeah. Someone said it won't be difficult for the ring better. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's right down the street. It did really. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. I see I do go to Steve Gordon. I think about that time area. <laughs> if you have to do, go to circle back around, what people go for that. Did you? Yeah, so, okay. Four years ago. Yeah. Big week for you. Yeah. Saturday on. Fucking long week. Yeah. 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 All right, down the wire again. Look, like you've done this before. Lone Star and Shiner is good. Miller Light is also good. Well, so is Bud Light. Another color. I'll find a picture. They still make Pearl beer? Pearl White. Pearl. Let's do it. I don't know. I've never had it. It's up there with the Hattie. All right, here we go, guys. 20 seconds. <laughs> See what happens. Now that bad beer is still pretty good. Dude. Hey, 14. Yeah, bad beer is still good. 12, 10. Guys, thank y'all very much. It's not done. Someone's coming up. Three. I'll tell you what. Two. All right. One. Oh, oh. 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 man. Latana. Thank you very much. Uh, super, super cool. Uh, everything was great. I can't thank the back community enough and everyone out there that participated, especially everybody out there that won. Absolutely super cool experience. And get you some of that. Woo! That's a wrap. Nice! <laughs> Well, I'm going to do that. Yeah. 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 Yeah